is going on welcome to episode one of i would say rebranding but it's not really being rebranded just recently, <laughs> but uh you know. yeah it's been long enough where i forgot the episode number and every single episode uh is like off my twitch because it's been so long so we just i just said screw it and um i was uh i was I was hoping we'd do the episode random, random, you know? He wanted me to do three question marks, but I figured just, like, starting back from one would yeah. be the better bet. But, um, anyway, what's up, everybody? Welcome to Chain Reaction, episode one. I forget what I called it. Something about a phoenix. I'm sure you can read it. I can't. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, as always, I'm Kresnik from Space Station Gaming, here with... Pittsburgh Knights, you bunny. And our guest this week Hero is going to be... Hero from Renegades. Ooh. Um, we are going to... Do this pr- weekly again, most likely. Probably on this timestamp as much as we can. Uh, I will be doing it. Like, if Bunny has something to do, I'll do it alone. Or uh, if uh-huh. I have something to do, Bunny will take over. I don't I haven't told him that yet, but he's learning a lot right now. Yeah. Uh, but we're going to keep it up. Easy. We're, we're going to try to keep it up. This isn't Gormizer's recap. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no one can have the, the level of innate charm that Gore has. And uh, since we're in the Knight's house, we're kind of just like, whoever wants to walk over or mm. do whatever, it's going to be fine. Um, I actually have a topic I'm supposed to turn on that I didn't, but I guess it doesn't really matter. That was the yeah, introduction. That, that was the introduction. Woo! Is that a Red Bull fridge the mic is on? Yes, we are massive sellouts. Yup. Red Bull, if there's any amount of money you want to give me to, for me to keep this here, <laughs> or if there's any amount of money I have to give you to, to be able to use it, uh, <laughs> please hit me up. True. My business email is kresnikow somehow. Still. Still OW. 
It's been a solid two years. Maybe I'm just in pain. Like emotional ah, pain. okay. Because, I mean, I had to play Overwatch. Of course I was in emotional pain. Yeah, yeah I think uh, everyone is right now in that game. <laughs> we will move forward, because uh, the introduction was kind of short, to my, what I wanted to talk about first. <laughs> Dude, I have, I have such a tiny fucking touchpad. You have no idea. Yeah, he's, he's got to make a... You can see a... it. it lo- it's, it's, like, it's like this big. Um, <laughs> anyway, uh, I want to talk about the meta first, because, I mean, we haven't done this in a while. We can talk about the matches, like, later, mm-hmm. but um, something that people would probably want from, you know, three different, three different PPL players would probably be how yeah. we feel about the meta. Um, I don't, the big change is, like, the unbans. I had Steelforge Plus unban, because, like, that was another big wave. Mm. Like, uh, for those like of you, the barrack buff, basically, yeah. Yeah, the yeah. barrack buff was a big thing. Imani um, nerfs. Imani nerfs. She kind of fell out a lot. Land nerfs, um, I that patch too? Uh, Leon, yes. Yeah. yeah, the land nerfs. They both fell out, like, really quickly. Um, I also mentioned the unban meta because I don't... I think the only thing that's still banned is Unstable Lex. Fissure. No, Lex is allowed. Still. Lex is allowed. Lex is allowed. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. Would we have seen that? Would no we have seen that lives, today? Dude. Would we have seen that today if you knew? Oh yeah, Casino Daddy is uh, what we like to uh, call it. But um, I love r- pressing. Right. I love pressing Discovery again and getting the same exact target three times in a row. Yeah, like I don't want their support. Give me their. I want to burn their tank faster. But Saris, it's gonna stealth away. <laughs> nice. Um, I think the only thing that's still banned is Unstable Fissure. Mm-hmm. And uh, for those of you who don't know why Unstable Fissure is banned, uh, it does ten thousand damage to shields. If you guys didn't know. Very fun. Like, actually 10,000. That'd 10, make it 000. pretty good. I think it'd make it good. <laughs> no, we, we found out because we were scrimming... Um, it was you guys that found out? Yeah, we were scrimming Envy. Who played that? At uh, Sadak. We actually think it's pretty good. But Sadak, we were scrimming Envy um, a couple weeks ago. Like, old meta. Uh, we were scrimming We were scrimming So them, with old and Imani, old Leon. No yeah. Grover. Yeah, yeah. Completely different meta, basically. Mm. But uh, someone got one shot by an Androx's reversal. Because it, it did 4,500 oh. damage to, to, to Sadak after he rewound. And we were just like, uh. <laughs> There's something wrong with like, this. That is, is some, I don't know what the fuck happened, but that was, that is not normal. Oh. Uh, but that's why it's banned. But uh, yeah, I mean, how do you guys... I mean, I think we all know the biggest mover of the unbans. Grover. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a prompt. I'm glad you picked it up. Yeah, I'm not, <laughs> just making sure, you know, maybe like Bonnie is like the big one. But um, Grover is like pretty big right now. Um. Mm-hmm. It's pretty crazy how he got changed again, but might get changed again for next week. Yeah. We'll see. Definitely going to be a fan. There, I'm there might sure. have been some crashes this weekend Not, in a certain game. There was actually, like, the most obvious crash ever. It was from Shadow's POV. Mm. He was standing... Let me put my Red Bull down a mile away. Shadow's POV, he was standing by face. Cuss yeah. vines over to help his teammates in face, and you would just see Shadow just... Just cease to exist and start just walking left yeah, until he dies. It's, fun. <laughs> it's actually like the most obvious vine crash well, I've ever seen. Uh, Jack falls right when Moon ulted face, uh, cuss vine, and shot. Ah, uh, yeah. that's tough. And like, if you didn't know, you might not even know because like he just poppied right, mm. and he was getting hard dope. So it looked almost like that was his like plan to get away, just strafe left, but not no mouse movement, no just. Absolute disconnect from Same life. Same I like it. I like it. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. But Grover will honestly probably be banned again next week, which means unbanned meta is kind of... The only real thing is, like, casting and Imani are allowed again. Mm-hmm. On the same casting Imani together, yeah. That's seeing everyone. And you, weren't you guys the only... Team that picked Imani? Yeah, this entire week. Mm-hmm. First match against And it got you a W. Guys. It was actually, like, the perfect, like, case scenario for us. We, we felt like it had, like, all the right... Um, basically points that you need for Imani right now. She's mm-hmm. not a, like, pick-every-time hero now. Like, Bulldozer's a big counter. Her left clicks are a lot worse than what they used to be. Yep. So, like, it needs to be a perfect case scenario to pick her right now. Do you remember what loadout Ricardo was running? Was I know he like... changed his deck from what he was running previously. Well, I hope but... so, because, I mean, Perm- I mean, Permafrost 5 might be okay. Uh, yeah, but um, I don't remember what deck he was running. I do remember, like, them testing out a bunch Is of he here? Decks. He might be in his room. <laughs> we all look, all three of us. All look at the room up there. Just the door shut. No ricotta coming out. But um, ricotta. <laughs> I don't think he's here. Okay, um, <laughs> it's worth a shot. But yeah, oh uh, yeah. So we don't know the uh, loadout for it. But I mean, I'm assuming like maybe a level or two in permafrost. Yeah, yeah. you still want some points in that. Because yeah. like I don't know, it's just not good enough mm. without it. I don't. And you guys, uh, we were the only team that pulled out turn too. I'm shocked. Yo, are you guys trying to get Grover banned over here? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> I think you already got Grover banned. Yeah. 
Oops. Oops. Yeah, 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 it actually you was because you watch, you watch that bar crash? Live no, from it Shadows never happened. It never happened. It, I mean, Shadow just got outplayed. He was just stunned by the cusp player. Shadow hit Alt F4 real quick. Yeah. <laughs> he was like, he saw, he heard the... It was like, <laughs> I don't want to play against Grover anymore. Yeah. I mean, he really didn't have too much of an impact, I would say. Honestly. Like, I mean, Grover? I mean he was solid. I mean, I thought... But, like, I mean, in, I don't think I, we saw him, like, more than, what, once in our, all four of our sets. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, um, I think Grover is, like, a... um. It's all based on like a specific comp you want to play, right? It's a specific team comp that you want to play and specific things that you want to play against. Uh, I know like a big one is the Eevee. Another big one is the Ash. You, you want to like kind of use the Grover ult to kind of like stop those big ultimates that make yeah. those heroes so good. And it also puts a lot of pressure on the Eevee. Um, I know we used it to a lot of success during the uh, RNG set where we were playing the Grover a lot. But um, just during your set for um, some reason we were like leaning towards more to the Janos and like playing a different style of comp. Which... I'm assuming I'm assuming it's partially because like teams probably assume we're just gonna want Janos. Yeah, historically. You assume that you guys want the Janos really early. Mm-hmm. Assume that you need to take it away from you guys basically because it would enable FRZ God, right? Mm-hmm. That's like the main thing looking at it. It also enables the Ruckus pick. If you have which... to choose between FRZ versus FRZ with 15% more damage, you always choose. You, you, you go for the, the FRZ you go for with the less no damage, bonus but damage. But then you can't stop Tyra. Then, then FRZ with Tyra 25% yep. bonus damage. Uh... Yeah, Tyra coming in and all that. But um, <laughs> a big thing with uh, Janos for you guys is that it enables Ruckus. Ruckus isn't seen like at all right now, but if the perfect conditions are met, yeah, and one and of Genos them means Janos. Part of I mean, I think Furia could probably. I mean, a um, Furia ulted. Furia Ruckus works is... with it, but like, it's not as good, right? Because you can't really run Beam Legendary. It's not like the best with it. And Cheris with Ruckus just feels really awkward. So you're not going to be seeing the uh, Ruckus with Furia that much. So it's mainly going to be when a team has Janos, that's when they're going to be looking for Ruckus. I mean, like Solar Blessing was better with Ruckus too, because right, like the Ruckus would dash out. Like you could combo like a Beam into Ruckus ult. Mm-hmm. Like I distinctly remember you guys doing it. Yeah, yeah exactly. R- Ricotta, I'm. I'm think I'm one of the safe only sane ones here right now so feel free <laughs> trust me you won't you won't embarrass yourself not anymore. where is this house i'm not gonna tell you it's in georgia i'm not gonna tell you where it is where i am right now probably a good idea probably a good idea someone tried to oh, look no. for it really oh, that's so but uh let's see uh so yeah steel forge barrack changes <laughs> Wait, no, barrack changes were barrack changes were pretty solid too i mean like he's um, yeah. So, but honestly, I feel like Inara is almost coming back because of how strong CC. People yes, are realizing yeah. how good Mother's Grace is against the CC. Mm-hmm. But, it, the pip, like uh, the pip rework, basically is huge, right? I mm-hmm. think if um, the pip, the Inara DR still didn't pop, stop the pip, I feel like pip would be picked a whole lot more. Yeah. Um, you saw specifically versus uh, you guys on Jaguar Falls where you were able to block like a three man pip ball with your Inara DR, which was really good. But um. Yeah, it was, it was no. Solid. You say three. You say block. They're like, what did he just face tank it or what? He face tank the uh, and it didn't hit anyone else. Didn't hit anyone else. Only him, and he had mother's grace. I missed that. You know, I kind of miss when like it didn't do that because like I was so like trained to like ult when I hear pipple, mm-hmm. and now I'm just like lazy, and then it's like, now you're just like <laughs> wasting. Now you're just wasting your ult on yeah. nothing. Yeah, you're just, <laughs> just um, throwing your ult at a pip that's just weightlessing away with thirty percent dr. Like what? <laughs> what but yeah, that's yeah, another like uh, mechanic. Uh, I think it helped out on R a lot. It's weird that like both main tanks got a buff at the same time, right? Yeah. But then Terminus stayed on like the same level. So well, I think that's... I think Terminus is probably more of an off tank now because yeah, I agree. and the reason the reason why specifically is because because of the siphon nerf. That's what hit him by the way. That's the main mm-hmm. reason why he's like out of the meta versus where he was before. Um, he can't stay on point anymore because he he can't get away with getting surrounded the way he used to. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but now like. If you put Terminus on a side angle, where not everyone's looking at him, exact max one to two people, then he peeling live. for one DPS. Yep, he could live. He could get like um, actual value from his new loadout cards and all that. Mm-hmm. But that's very hard to meet in only certain maps. You can now. Do that right let now. me just say, we did not pick Term, like with no experience. With like, I, I want to <laughs> tell you that we tried Term. <laughs> And it was working. I even said in the interview, Sadak was like, Terminus is back. It, like, before the... Axe Daddy <laughs> and, like, is back. Word for word, he was like, Terminus is back. Um, I just think we... I think the Stone Keep was just... I don't think that was Term's fault. And I think yeah, the I Bright think Marsh... Really I, think was, actually, yeah. Yeah. I, I think the Bright Marsh was just... Uh, we just got hard oh, out. Did, we just got hard out drafted. You did Term on Bright as well? 
Mm-hmm. Oh, I don't see that. Oh, you don't I want to. Yeah. yeah. If you want to experience of a good surf, like, anything but that. Now, yeah, I was wondering now, what was going on. Did I put like top amount of deaths you can have on Terra? He went yes, three. He had. went three and sixteen. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, it was. Okay. What was and it that's against? like Tyra. Uh, Drogo is. And Tyra, I think, actually. It, it might have been. No, no, I think it's either like Drogo Tyra or Drogo Cassie. Yeah, it's one of the two. Right. It was a real rough game. Mm. It was a real rough game for him. Uh, but Termin is still, like, he has a lot of potential. Yes. The thing is, here's the thing about Term. If you miss your blasts, uh, Drogo Cassie, we had Tyra Evie. Okay, that's oh, what okay. I thought. Um, if you miss your blasts, you're just, you're just done. Like, yeah. it, there's just, you have to hit all your blasts because you need that extra sustain and you need the burst. The, the regen of your siphon. Mm-hmm. That's because that's the good build, right? You play yeah. decimation, you can burst someone for seventeen fifty. It's really hard for them to stop shooting your siphon in an instant. Um, it's mostly strong against like characters that can't stop their shot once they fired it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, like a hit scan that can just immediately stop. Like, all right, it's not going to be as good. But. Yeah, and I think another problem that has to do with terminus is that like a lot of the DPS heroes that are popular right now, like the Tyra, like the Vivian. Um, the Eevee, they're all like heroes that aren't going to be bursted out by Terminus, right? Yeah. There's no like. Oh, Eevee. Well, Eevee. Well, I mean, but, yeah. 1750. How can you Eevee with Term, though? It's yeah. only your right click, right? That is your only. Yeah, like, you can't left click. It's very hard to left click an Eevee. I like. No, I'm, I'm, you can hit it. It's oh, yeah. Yeah. You can hit it, but like. It is she absolutely. Hit it. She, shouldn't get hit. she shouldn't get hit by it. She shouldn't die to a Terminus, is what I'm saying. Um, It's very hard to find a kill on Terminus, especially even if you use like three to four blasts, like. Mm-hmm. You can't one shot these DPSs right now. They're very tanky. They're all like 2.4k HP, 50 HP. Yeah. Uh, Scapegoat. Just, yeah. Wait, you you kind of can't really kill any yeah. of the DPS right now. So that's there's definitely yeah. There's definitely though. places he can live. Uh, I think it just need to get found a little bit more. Uh, Dodge roll iron roll. I can do that. <laughs> when I'm this wire here. is not here, please <laughs> and thank you for this mic I bought specifically for chain. For chain. Um. Other movers and shakers in the meta, I really can't think. I mean, well, Vivian and Tyra, I think, is actually probably like the huge standout right the now. The huge yeah. things that came up last. Like the console, yeah. the console, console meta. meta. Mm-hmm. I dodge rolled by IRL when we were playing laser tag. This is my bro. <laughs> I mean, they're really, they're just really good. I mean, Tyra, Tyra is basically like a Genos. You can get a real healer and then have your the Genos damage boost plus a really efficient tank killing ultimate. Mm-hmm. And that like she's good against all the meta. The, all the meta tanks right now, you know? Mm-hmm. Her with she farms Khan with Wrecker. She's yes. really good into Barrack. She's really good into the point tanks because of the Molotov. Um she's actually really good into Atlas because her mark stays through rewind. Mm-hmm. So you can see where he ends up or keep mm-hmm. or kind of keep him damaged. And it still goes for another like one to two seconds after rewind. Yeah. yeah. And it just adds more burst to it, right? Atlas is all about like getting the maximum value you can out of that rewind, right? Mm-hmm taking another 30% damage, that kind of, like, messes up with your timings and, like, how much damage you can take and all that. You're not going to get as much of... Value. Uh, you're yeah. not going to get as much out of your, da- like, your movement in before you rewind. Mm-hmm. Like, you want to get as much distance from your speed boost from your shield mm-hmm. before you have to rewind. And with the mark on you, it just... It, I mean... Like, it just kills I mean, it. And if anyone watched the games today, I think you know why Vivian is good. Yeah. Yes. I mean... She's yeah. just she's just monstrous damage. E- even for Sunbi, it was like really like it was a really good pick. I know yeah, on yeah. Uh, split zone, that, yeah, that was fun I watching saw it. How just, like die? It was, it was one really clip too. It yeah. was one yeah. clip of just the Vivian just from high ground just on the Anara. Mm-hmm. A full clip killed the Anara wall. Went through an RDR. Actually, I Vivian's good. Ares had a problem at first with like he would just let go a left click. And it was just like really, it was just like he was running opportunity and chaos, and like every uh, time he would turn to look somewhere else, he would let go of left click. And you guys probably, I was like, please, just hold it. Why are you even thinking that legendary? You even if you that. Missing. And then like today, he just like just did not let go. That man, I, when he stood up, I swear his mouth stuck with him the whole time. <laughs> it was incredible. But I mean, it worked. I mean, yeah. that, that's how you have to play opportunity and chaos, you know. Mm. With that, he was he was losing a lot of value at first with it, but he definitely he definitely picked it up. Kresnik, why did SSG be Kangi yesterday? I wish I could tell you. Whoa. I wish I knew. <laughs> it just happened, you know. They did the vamos vamos thing. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think. I mean, that's probably like all the biggest, the biggest swaps in the meta. I mean, like Mave. I mean, we haven't spoken in a while, but like one thing that surprised a lot of like the mixer viewers mm-hmm. is uh, Mave. Kepa. I think right. Yeah, because yeah. really coming back in the meta. This was like a few weeks ago, though. Yeah. It's Maybe basically. It was like right after um the second like uh, patch happened. So like the first mm-hmm. patch was like the original what we were scrumming on for like three to four months, right? Mm-hmm. 
we go into week one, and that's what the meta was, right? It was what we've been playing for months. And then week two, the whole entire fucking game changes, right? Yeah. Like, it's a Janos comp now yeah. with the Ruckus, um, one flanker always, and all that stuff. And the patch right after that is when Maeve started seeing play. I think there was a um, Maeve well, I think, buff that Well, I think, out, right? like, Maeve was, like, seeing some play, but I think what really took her up is the Zin nerfs. Zin nerfs definitely helped out, Because, yeah. like... Zin was Zin was like the the flanker in a yeah. lot of maps. It was like, Zin I or mean, EVM. everybody's played against like Zin on Warder's Gate, sitting under the point, and you can't fucking kill him, and he's just shooting your point tank oh. the entire time. Mm-hmm. Like everyone knows how how annoying that is to play against. And then um, after the like, he kind of just completely disappeared after the nerfs, and they needed another flanker, and Maeve duels Evie. Well, mm-hmm. so Maeve that's wins for CV has a really good impactful ultimate right now. Mm-hmm. Um. Although uh, it is another CC. Oh, who is that behind? What? No one. Oh, <laughs> you made me look though. That's all. <laughs> I don't really control. It's fine. Um, yeah, that was discussion. Uh, yeah, that was the meta. I don't think there's anything else we could really bring up, so I'll probably jump to the next topic, which you probably can't even hear me. Is uh, this week's matches? Woo! <sighs> Sorry, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> um. Holy shit, our week was stacked. Yeah. We had a lot of games. <laughs> oh my god. A we lot had of games. so many games. So, like, did oh. you not have, a, like, a choice or, like, saying that? Like, Okay, here was the thing. We could have played one game last week. Against, we could have played our VP match last week. But mm-hmm. uh, my team wanted to go home. So they did, you know. Okay. Uh, we went home for a week, and uh, we didn't scrim. Yeah. Like, at all. Yeah, and it, I think most teams picked this up. Like, I know we picked it up last night. Like, huh? Who did this team play? Yeah, against? like who could we? So like, SSG, be, we couldn't play half the league. Yeah, you couldn't play half the league. Europeans were having a very hard time scrimming on NA or even on EU servers. So that means Navi and Nip, two teams that they don't play, they can't scrim versus. Which meant there was one team, and we didn't scrim in Brazil. When we were when they were back home, we, we couldn't scrim mm. just because of schedules and like people wanted to see their families and stuff. So we basically had we basically had one day of practice going in. Um, and I guess it was a really good day. We yeah, went, we went to, it must have been a good day. We, you went three, four, sixteen and four. Yeah, sixteen and four. Yeah, yeah, sixteen and four map. Pretty good. It was okay. Positive twelve. Yeah. Okay. But um, yeah, no. All, all we basically had to play half the league in two days. Uh, of more than a fourth of our season was in two days. Our That's how we felt at the start of the season, dude. We were playing games after games. We were like yeah. four games ahead of everyone at the start of the season. Yeah. Would have changed stuff a little bit if uh, SSG was here earlier with their visas. Yeah, maybe. I don't yeah. know. I don't know how it would have been. I mean, we would have. Well, you guys would have played more too. Yeah, you yeah. guys would have played the first two weeks for sure. I don't know about the third. Week, Actually, though. we would have played Nip week one. You would have played mm-hmm. Nip and NIP, and you would have played Kanga and Navi <laughs> second <laughs> week. Nip and NIP. Oh, Nip and Fifi, yeah. Navi and Kanga. That would have been a tough first week, actually. Well, actually, mm. at the meta though, it wasn't that tough, right? Because I think we were like Nip- doing okay on that meta, but oh, like, that so, meta. it's so hard to tell because we were scrimming in Brazil. Like mm. yeah. you guys, both of you scrimmed us. Like you know that us online versus right. us at LAN. Is yeah, like, it's completely different. Yeah, it's two different teams entirely. We, we had like really, really we good results have. in that meta, so like we were pretty confident going in that first week. Mm. We. Uh, we 4 one Well, we first played NIP, I think, right? Is either NIP or yeah, VP? Yeah, and you lost that, right? We like lost it 4-2. Four, 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 two. Four, two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the fifth map was a Frozen Guard. We fell off on defense on the 3 Oh, my God. Yeah. I, remember yeah. being, I remember watching that on stream. And being yeah. Like, no! And we didn't blow out in time, and we lost the fifth map and lost sixth map. Then we uh, played VP and went 4-1. Mm-hmm. Um. Which, if you look at it now, like, if we 4 2 NIP and 4-1 VP, that would look insane. But um, during that patch, I felt like the teams were just different, right? Yeah. The, I mean, things the, changed. The patch, like, completely changed everything. I also, like. all these teams were, like, traveling here for the first... It was, like, a, mm-hmm. a bunch of people's, like, first time. It was, like, time our first time at land, land. Yeah. yeah. Four out of five people, it was, like, your first time at land. Yeah. Except for Gus. Well, 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 I mean, well, we played at, like, one land. PWC. We had, like, four to three games, right, for a splice. I think Kanga yeah. had... Or not Kinga. Uh, SK had maybe one more game, so we still didn't have that. Much you didn't experience. have a lot of land experience. Yeah. yeah. And now, now everybody has a ton of land experience. Yeah. Now, land, so. now it's completely different. Yeah. Yeah. So, 
Actually, Meadow, Meadow brought something up I wanted to discuss. Do you guys think we had it was an advantage or a disadvantage playing four matches this week? I think it could have been a disadvantage had the games that you started with had yeah. not gone the way they did. I think it could have been really bad had you lost or got rolled mm-hmm. like the first set of the day. I think uh, it would have snowballed into it. That's true. I mean, else. like, yeah, the fact that we, like, if we well, lost to Game 7, we probably would have just gotten slammed yeah. by Envy. Real, like, realistically. Mm-hmm. I, I, I don't um, know. It's, it's hard to say. Yeah. Um, Personally, I, coming into it, I thought 100% it was a disadvantage, right? Mm-hmm. I know us, after playing for a weekend, two games, we're tired, right? And that's one game on one day, another game on another. You're tired after that Saturday, but... It worked out really well. I mean, we you got, guys understood the land meta 100. percent Yeah, we got yeah. lucky in the sense that um, the like lower seeded teams were our first matches of the day both times. Mm-hmm. Like we had Kanga and then Envy, and then mm-hmm. we had you and then VP. Mm-hmm. Like having having those like in a row uh, made things made things like significantly like easier to like feel into, right? Like we could practice, we could like play a team that we think would be a little easier seating wise and then mm-hmm. be able to move into a team we might be able to prepare a little bit more for i will say i actually i, I feel like i underprepared for kanga that was just because we played them uh oh sorry i thought i, <laughs> I, thought I was saying yeah, something yeah, else. Yeah. we kind of like underprepared for kanga but that, that was just because we had just played them yeah. and like they didn't play a match the week before so like i didn't look back into their stuff because i had the, the, the information i had from two weeks ago was literally the same information yeah mm-hmm. like so, uh, but I, I don't know if that was why that set was four three. I think it was just because we didn't scream. It was like our you guys first weren't game, ready. Our first we were just warming back. up. Yeah. yeah, I think it was really unfortunate with like um, losing the. F- I feel like you guys uh, mispicked on maps personally. Um, mm-hmm. I think frogs are a really strong map for Kanga. For sure. um, mm-hmm. I think you guys did we pick frog. No, you guys didn't pick frog. Oh, I was gonna but say like you guys picked uh, shattered for some right, and they've always preferred shattered. Pretty they sure they picked sh- it versus us. But they picked Frog. I know that. I'm pretty sure they picked... You guys picked Shattered and they picked Frog. I think Frog would have been one of their best chances for you guys. And I think you guys picked see. Shattered for some. And I know Kanga has uh, lead a lot towards Shatters, Even since oh, like, the start of the year. Kanga won. For PPL. I, I, why do I feel like... I don't remember us picking Shattered. I think really? they... Did. Then what do you have for Smith? Because they picked Frog 100%, I think. Is there a first pick on it? Unless you guys give away first pick on Frog. We didn't. We didn't pick Frog. I, I doubt we did. Or at least I don't remember us picking Frog. Mm-mm-mm. We picked Stone. It was Stone? We picked Stone. Oh, they I picked Frog. Huh. We picked Split. And then... Really? They picked Warders. They picked Shattered. We, okay. Uh, and then they picked... Well, we won. Uh, then we picked Frozen. Oh, they, sorry, they picked Frozen. We picked Bright. We actually okay. won Frozen. We won Shattered. Yeah, really? Yeah. Oh, shit. Huh, well. It's just a book of Sadak fan art. <laughs> uh, guys, this book is so much more boring than you think. It's literally just drafts. Yeah, like, I could literally boring. show you this book. Like, here, want, you guys want to see drafts for two maps? That's it. <laughs> it's so, much more, it's so much more boring than you think it is. I just do it for my, for my spreadsheets later. My spreadsheets are what matter. Mm-hmm. It's so much more boring than you think. Um... Yeah, no. Uh, I don't think the maps were that bad. Actually, the one map, the one series we took a gamble on was um, VP mm-hmm. with the first pick, because we picked their most picked map mm-hmm. to start, just to like get it out of the way. Uh, well, get like... it out of the way, and you. How often do teams practice? This is something Meta actually said in the PW Discord, and I thought it was a good idea. Like, how often do teams practice second pick on their favorite map? Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah. Not very much. Mm-hmm. So I mean, that game was close as hell, but we still out. won on their favorite map to start the series. Mm-hmm. And I felt like that was I felt like it ended up being a good call. Mm-hmm. Although I, I got I actually told I was talking to Spuds about it. And I was like, man, if we lost that game, if we lost that map, my, my, my team would have been pretty pissed at me. Because <laughs> I was the one who suggested it, and they were like, oh, that, that could work. That might work. Oh. <laughs> if we lost that, I would have been like, oh, sorry, so. uh, and then. I, I actually I didn't get to watch the middle sets as much as I would have liked to. Mm-hmm. Both of them. It was four one. Yeah, the Knights running against was four. I, I, I rewatched it just to get the drafts. How did we start up? It was. Three, yeah. Um. Stonekeep. 
I have it on my phone. I remember Stone Cave. Yeah. It was yeah, like you guys picked Stone one, first. One, 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 and then, yeah. And, then and we, we pushed in and then won the mid. Um, I remember you guys Grover World saved you guys so hard. Lower key. Yeah, no one's the Grover HP. World was I'm trying to kill huge. people and then Grover World just comes in. Yeah. And then... uh, Stone Cave was huge with the Imani too. It got a crap ton of value. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah. And we also had like actual value. We had a really like comfortable comp that game. Then we went to... Bizarre. <clears throat> it's bizarre, yeah. Bizarre was a fun map. Bizarre I, was fun for me, but we didn't win. Yeah, I wanted my team to play it, man. I was bizarre like, is a really I was like, fun guys, map. Just, let's just let's just let's just not wing it. it. Let's just say fuck it. <laughs> I like bizarre when I'm there. When I'm in our, it's not a very fun yeah. Map. In our, it could be a little rough. Um, but yeah, you're just like poking. Yeah, being able to poke the high ground. It's really fun for Khan on that map because like you go all anyone yeah. from anywhere in the point fight. Yeah, because the map is so open on me. Yeah. yeah, I like it though. I think it's actually really solid. I like the yeah. map. Yo, like shout out to like all the new maps other than like Shattered have been really good. Yeah, yeah. Shattered I'm not a fan of. Um, Bizarre really good. Warders I like too. Yeah, Warders is great. like a very unique. Uh, like think about all the maps that have been coming out. Like since even Ascension. since Stone Keep, right? Yeah. So there's like Stone Keep was great. Split Stone is great. Ascension is great. The Warders come after Split Stone. Well, I don't know. About Splitstone has been the game since I've been playing the game, so I don't know. I don't know about Splitstone. Splitstone came out when... It was Ascension, then Warders. Ascension... Oh, yeah, then Ascension. Yeah. And then Warders. And then... Shattered. And then Shattered. Shattered and uh, Bizarre. Bizarre. So, like, out of I the seven the new maps... Out of seven new maps, six are great. Mm-hmm. Like, shoutouts to the dev team, dude. Like, that's crazy. Yeah. That's some really good consistency. Mm-hmm. Um, you need to talk louder, by the way. I, I you gotta project. Here, bro. Sorry. Well, because we're leaning in, kind yeah. of. Yeah. I'm um, right now. I'm sorry. So you guys played Stone, then Bazaar. Stone, and then Bazaar. Fish Market, Triple DPS, right? Fish Market, yeah. Triple. That was an interesting one. We had double off tanks, so we were like really comfortable going into the Triple DPS. Mm-hmm. I felt like we could make a lot of oopsies and still win the map, right? Yeah. But a Triple DPS, you need to play it like perfectly. So we were like comfortable going into that. Mm-hmm. And then Frozen. Frozen map. Frozen Guard. Frozen, yeah. That was rough. I think the big problem with that is that First, on the push, we uh, we blew a ton of alts, right? We blew Ash Alt, we blew Cassie Alt, yeah. and we blew Mave Alt. So then on the mid, it was two alts versus four alts, or five alts. And then in that fight, um, Viral hits a nutty Janos Salt on yeah. Cost right after Furry Alt, and he gets Janos Alted. Mm-hmm. So then we're 4v5 in the fight, and we just get out sustained, um, and we don't get a retake on it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was pretty unlucky. I mean, it was guys, just a really good. Ult. I mean, you guys yeah, played it, it really well. Ult, yeah. yeah, you guys abused it. Um, so that was good. And then, uh, Jack. last map, Jag. Uh, Pip the Pip, Pip. We needed to take the Pip boy. We talked about it, and then we, uh, we just didn't do it. It's so Jag is so good. Yeah, yeah for Pip. So we, good. For Pip. We did it today in the NB set. We mm-hmm. banned it, and we want like we were talking about it beforehand. Like we need to take Pip away from Pan, like either first like prior harder than we did. Mm-hmm. Or just ban it, and mm-hmm. we should just yeah, we should just done that. Um, but yeah, we just had comfortable comp on Jag, swung to it, yellow. Yeah, I mean, a comfort picks is gonna make things mm-hmm. good. And the other middle set was you guys versus Envy. Envy. Yeah, which I mean, I think I thought you guys had some good had some good play on some of the maps, but it was yeah. just it's just hard for you guys to, like, I don't know, man. You guys have such a mountain to climb at this point, like mentally. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now, oh, yeah. like, I'm sorry that I, I, I no, no, say this to you at the middle of the of the chain, but okay. like. Every time you guys hit, um, like anytime you guys get three three up on a map, you're probably like, oh yeah, oh, I'm like, this is it. <laughs> it's three three, and then like something goes wrong, I'm just like in my head, I'm like, oh, not and Vocal has taken the three one curse from SK to uh, Renegades is what we've been saying. That's actually yeah, because you guys been off the three one a lot, right? Mm-hmm. Since the uh, and Vocal actually played really, I and Vocal like has been super, today. yeah, he's been yeah. really good. He's just all around every side he plays extremely well. Mm-hmm. And I'm very proud of that. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm just hoping like. The rest of us can match that, and we can improve as a team, and like improve on our team play in the future. Mm-hmm. That's what that's what the matter. Do you guys have like change in in game leading too, right? Uh yes. It used to be Shadow. He used to be Drafter, and then like we didn't have like really an IGL. Mm-hmm. Now it's Moon drafting and Moon doing like uh, some IGL stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 I feel, I feel like, like, a big part of the meta, too, right now is all about teamwork, right? Yeah, for sure. It's not even about individual plays right now. It's a lot about, like, how you work as a team, how you, like, use alts as a team, how you push as a team, how you rotate as a team. It is such a team-based game right now that um, it I think it shines above everything right now. It's drafting, then it's how you play as a team. Mm-hmm. Yeah, of course. I mean, drafting is always going to be really important, but 
I think it's uh, like 75% of the game. T- right teamwork now. is teamwork. You have to be able to like peel for each other and protect each other. And mm. focus fire is no a really to go big in thing and too. No when to back up. Exactly. Yep. I think Stonekeep was su- still super winnable even with the get let them have BK. Mm-hmm. I mean, you, they, you guys won the first mid. Yeah, we won the first mid, and it was like close to a certain point, right? It was like two two, and then I think we got pushed in. I don't remember Stonekeep that much, but I uh, was that that was the first map, right? Uh, yes. I really had to take I really had to take a prep, and the team kept talking to me, and I was just like half listening, like, like we yeah, we could have yeah, done better please. on the pushes. We always had the advantage on the push, but mm. then we couldn't find like the final kills. The individual and we, alts, we kept, like opening yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. I I remember, I forget, someone, I think someone on our team was like, ult! Like, I, yeah. <laughs> there was like, I, I forget it, I don't remember if that was the map or that was being set or if it was another map, but mm-hmm. I remember, I remember that, that going through, let's see, someone said, I think they pushed 3-1 and you capped for 2-3? Uh, oh, like it was 2-3 I and think then it was 1-1 one, one, and then it was 1-3. One, 1-1 one, one, and then 1-3 and then you and then one, capped two, and they three. defended. Yeah. And then ended up, okay. Mm-hmm. Actually, speaking of, um... Speaking of like individual, because we mentioned Invocal before, I just wanted to mention this. I don't know what the fuck Rochelle ate this week. He's been but not What happened with his Inara? Yeah. Like, I mean, I'm the, saying that, like, I mean, his Inara has been steadily improving, but, like, this week specifically. He was probably making a fuck ton, yeah. On Inara, yeah. yeah. He, I mean, like, and that was, like, people were probably just, like, Rochelle won Barrack one trick before. Like, that's what people were saying. I mean, I think his Nando is monstrous, by the way. <laughs> um, I don't know. His Inara was just out of this world out this week. week, this this week, week. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I think, I think in general, the, the team just performed really well this week. But, but specifically, call out to Rashad because, like, before I uh, before I started coaching this team, um, I really never I, I knew he was like a solid main tank. Mm-hmm. But after watching him play, like, I I re- I think he's a, he's a contender for like one of one of the best. I I, I really mm-hmm. think he's an abs- and no one in NA cares about it because he doesn't really speak English. Yeah. No one in NA really knows his like personality or who he is, but like. The mm-hmm. man is a is a is a fucking meme lord, and he's a he's a oh he's dude. <laughs> yeah, he has some solid all. His all plays were really good. I remember uh, specifically versus VP, he hit like the biggest. It was like one one, and he hit the hugest in our all ever. Hit like yeah. three out of five people. No one has Resi yet, and it ends up getting three picks and winning a mid fight. He even had really. a he even had like a game winning Ash alt when he was playing Ash against mm-hmm. VP in a, on Ascension Peak. He had this like insane triple stun in the back line mm-hmm. against Tyra and stuff like that. Yeah, like, did R- Rashad? <laughs> there was like a three week period where every single time I would look at Rashad, he would just go like, like <laughs> he would just do this thing. Like I would just send him pictures of like he would just like send us pictures of this like, <laughs> <laughs> like I don't, know, I don't even know like like at that point the most I'd ever heard him say was like he's fine, he's fine, and like <laughs> it would just Jesus. and that was like how we communicated. Uh, anyway, but yeah. Uh, are there any other maps like we should we think we, any matches we could talk about like more in depth that you guys are more interested in? I guess we could talk. We could ask chat. Is there any maps you guys um, think we should want to break down a little bit more before we move on to the next topic? What do you think was the best game uh, out of the, you guys in Envy? The best map from us in Envy? Yeah. I can relook at what the map, what maps we played. I know Bright was entertaining to watch. That was that was, that was an interesting one. <laughs> Bright was like <laughs> that was an interesting one. It was something to remember. Bright was definitely a map. You know uh, the KDs. It, it wasn't there the KDs, but <laughs> it's probably fun just to watch. Just to watch. It was fun play. to watch. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm sure it's fun to watch this for a term. Um, what maps were close? I think the Timber was probably pretty interesting because yeah. we played into Makoa. Yeah, pretty effectively. Oh, I hate Koa, dude. Koa and Atlas is so bad, dude. Oh. Yeah. It's a rough one. It is the worst. But you can't not to pick it, though. That's the thing. You have have to pick pick it. Because if you don't pick it, then they have too good of a first pick. Because they'll get, if you don't pick it, then they'll get Makoa and a good pick. Makoa and whatever side of the map they want to win, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Specifically, Frog, you get the Eevee, right? Exactly. With the Eevee, that means you win danger most likely, right? Mm -hmm. Or you can, like, pressure more than any other pick, right? You can pick Maeve, but the Maeve's not going to do it nearly as much as the Eevee right now. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Like, I mean, if your team is, like, really, really fast, I think you can, like, move and execute, like, off of the May Vault. But, like, once Razil is online, it, it gets a lot harder. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I yeah, think that's probably it match-wise. So mm-hmm. we will – I will jump to the next topic, which is going to be – Rapido. MSI, actually. Uh, just a little preview because <clears throat> we don't know the exact seating for mm-hmm. the uh, PPL side of it. Mm-hmm. But um, – 100% IP first. Yeah, that, that's, there's only eights. a few things that are like, sure. Well, no, could, could, can't you guys still make it? <coughs> I don't think so anymore. No, I think we needed to win both games. Yes. Yeah. Sorry. I think we basically needed yeah, to win out tough. to get to him. So. Um, but yeah, so it's Kanga 100% six. Okay. 
NIP 100% first. And then the middle is what can shake up. Yes. Everything in the okay. middle. I think those four seats are can all be swapped up. Mm-hmm. I think it's more than likely going to be Kenga VP. Oh, from bottom to top? Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, bottom to top. Uh, Kenga VP. Then I'm going to go with SSG, MV, NIV. Navi. Navi, Navi. Navi 2. What, what maps do we have to win to get third? Because like, we, think... we still play Renegades. Yeah. We still have two maps to go. We still have to play Renegades and Navi. I thought you had more than two maps. No, just two matches to go. That's it. We're, we're eight and four right now. Uh, plus Renegades 10. and who then? Navi. Navi? Yeah. I think you guys automatically are higher than Envy then, right? Uh, Envy are one Has map one, one map ahead of us right now. They're one map ahead of you. They have yeah. one more match to go, which is versus us. Yes. So oh. at most Who's they up can on, like, end. At different. most they can end positive fifteen. So they are at eleven. We're at ten. Uh. So at most they can end fifteen. So if we if we four all you guys or like even four one, that's like three points. Mm-hmm. Um, so, <laughs> so much harder to do in person, dude. Um, if we like, if we let's say we like. Now, it, okay, one question I have. Is it map differential? I think it's mostly map loss? differential because right now... I think it's win-loss Navi, map differential. No, no, because Na'Vi right now is second place um, with only with, with less games than us. Like, they have seven wins, and we have eight wins, and we're fourth in their second. I don't know if that's, like, the actual, like, NSI fault. <laughs> no, that was the ones they showed on stream. Yeah, 100% they have it on the website stream. as well. Yeah. I feel like it's bad to do it by that, not well, win-loss, but um, whatever. I, either way, like, we... Envy can only get a maximum of... If they 4 owe you, they'll be at 15. Mm-hmm. Right? We still have two games to play. Mm-hmm. So if we... But Navi is going to be very, very hard. Yeah. Navi is really, really good. Mm-hmm. But like, I think even then, like, even if we take... If we win... If we win against you guys and take, like, two maps, we're ahead of, we're ahead of Envy. Every map you guys take away from Envy also is, like... But, I mean, every map down. that you lose versus Navi, though. So if you lose the set versus Navi, you 100% mm-hmm. don't yeah. make it, right? Maybe. Well, well, it all depends on like, what happens with yeah. us and all that. Yeah, of course. Yeah. It, it, it could be like, still go. It could still go. Like, us, yeah. us versus, it really is really dependent on your set. Mm-hmm. What, seating, what seating we get. Mm-hmm. Um, <coughs> but yeah, that's how I see it. I think it's going to be you guys, then MB, then Navi, mm-hmm. then Nip. Yeah. And with that in mind, it's going to be a 1 8, 2 7. <laughs> Bunny, Bunny, you are dick first to camera right now. I just want you to know that. <laughs> <laughs> but it's my head. <laughs> but, um, so it's 1 8, 2 7. Three, yeah, yeah, five, or three, six, four, five. four, five. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, four, five. So what is it? So that means four, five would be. You would think it would be VP us versus VP again. Us. Oh, okay. It's cool that like you can kind of see how the bracket's going mm-hmm. yeah. to be like. Well, what we mm-hmm. don't know, and what I mostly wanted to talk about in this bracket, excuse me, <clears throat> was um the PML and the PCL teams. <laughs> the PML teams. I think it's well, no, be... I mean, because the thing, remember this though, the PCL teams, they can use mouse and keyboard. Uh-huh. But so, are they comfortable with it? Is the question. Like, do you really some, want to the, 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 the regions that have been one sided have been scrimming on mouse and keyboard. Really? Uh-huh. Yes. Okay. Uh, the thing is, that's one of the biggest, because remember, only one team is going. So if one team is like clearly above, they just start uh-huh. scrimming mouse and keyboard and they just play the match on the controller. Okay. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> uh, the biggest thing is that. Um, I believe EU PS4 was super close, so they're at a disadvantage because they kept scrimming on controller to try to get an advantage over the other team. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm going to be honest, guys. I actually don't know all the qualifiers for the PCL regions. Um, I know, I know the P, I know PML, but I don't know all the PCL qualifiers. Um, to be honest, I don't either. <clears throat> sorry. Well, I know Elevate. I mean, I think the biggest Elevates. the biggest threat would probably be Elevate because they've been scrimming PC teams for quite a while. And they do scrim on PC with three out of five players right now. I think. Yeah, two of them don't have a don't have a PC setup. Yeah, they don't have a PC. Mm. But I know um, Cyclone played a lot of PBM. Okay, I mean I've casted. I just don't remember exactly what the names of the teams are. Mm-hmm. But I, I mean I know the players. <clears throat> yeah, most of them at least. It's it's kind of the same the same gaggle of guys from the previous PCL line. So, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. what is that G Bunny? I don't even know. Oh, what is that, Jimmy? What's up, bud? <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, I think the Elevate's like the biggest team that comes to my mind. I know they've been scrimming a lot of PML team. Mm-hmm. So, um, now them beating a top tier PML team, I don't think is going to happen. I think qualifications are going to be hundred percent 
Penta it's gonna be, is what they're called, right? Penta. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's the, Penta now. I think Penta's 100% probably going to qualify. Okay. And then the second team is up in the air, right? Could be Sour. Well, because what's, what's on the other side of the bracket? Yeah, it's Sour. Because it, what's the other side of the bracket is... Well, because it's probably... It's number one EU and number two NA on one side of the bracket, right? Um, Along yes. With the other. Who gets, yeah. yeah. I yeah. think it's... Because why, why would they yeah. put the number one, number one, number two, number two? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like... The number two NA and number one EU, so Sanguine would have to beat Penta. Sour. Penta. Oh. Well, so actually, Sanguine is, is Sanguine the second? Who is the second seed? I think Sanguine is Oh, no, first. it's Penta versus Hype Unit. Okay, yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. Which is NOP, which is Stigma, Poison, and all them, right? Stigma, but, Poison, but Tay, Will. No J. No J. No J, yeah. No J. Um, also, no Jake. By the no way, Jake. I'm just saying. No Jake? Oh, Jake, no, Jake no, can't Jake. come to land. Um, Real life stuff. Yeah. Uh, How I see that going is... uh. I, I just see Clown Fiesta being the best um, PML team by DC. Wait, not Penna? Penna. Yeah, that's the same team. Clown Fiesta, oh, Penna. I same. Penna. You know, I, was I, about I team. always get confused, yeah, but yeah. Um, Penna slash Clown Fiesta, I feel like it shows the strongest PML team. I know they scrim a lot of PPL. I know they show good results versus PPL. And they also have like a lot of good drafts. Um, I think on tournament day, they've had like a few like um, mishaps, right? Like... They always go to like five games with Sour, right? Mm. I know they've lost. Not always. I but I think they have uh, two out of three times, right? They went I think to five so. games. I think the one I casted was kind of one side. Was it Sour that went to best like to game five this week against Blazing Asars? They like lost yeah, the first I think it was two and then they reversed. It was against all business. business. Okay. Uh-huh. Yeah, they had a close set. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I just see Penta being a uh, very good team, and I see mm-hmm. them qualifying or like have the best. Yeah, I think Penta. I think Penta could make it. I mean, they're gonna have to play Hype Unit and Hype Unit like. I don't know how they have been looking with Will. Mm-hmm. Um, we'll have to we'll have to see obviously when they show up to land. Uh, Will is Will actually might be better for them at land. Penta wouldn't be fifth in PPL right now. No, no way. <laughs> <laughs> I think um, the, the Will might make them better at land because Jay's never been to a land event. Yes. So like it, it is kind of like a. Like, and Will seems like a very high land player. Like he's in a rally. Well, Will's team. always perform well. Yeah. yeah. Like, Will's never yes. really had like a terrible <laughs> land. Yeah, he's popped off um, always. But who are the who are the other land newbies on that team? Stigma. Stigma's mm. never been. Stigma, Poison Tay, went to one land. Poison, and he I performed well at the land too, right? Yeah, Poison went to Poison. Land with yeah, Rangies. he went to land with us. Um, yeah. And he's on a college so, land. So, Tay first time. I Tay first time, Stigma first time. Uh, T-Mac has gone. T-Mac's gone. Yeah, and T-Mac but also they, It's not like they well. have like a ton of experience though, right? T-Mac's went to one no, land. It's just, it's just T-Mac, T-Mac, Poison, and, and Will. I think Will has the most experience, actually, yeah, of anybody. which is two lands. He's going to every land since fucking Purity. Is it every land? Well, not since, every land. Well, like, well, since Purity, right? Purity was his first land? Yeah, but he didn't go to every land, right? I think he did. Well, I, don't, I think the only one he didn't go to was, what, Vegas? I'm down to three. Really? Right? Yeah, I think so. I really think that was the only one he didn't go to. He was there in qualifiers. He was there... Was it their Summerland? I don't think he was because um, he wasn't on uh, B or Sanguine. So no, I don't give him a team. No, like, he was on. Uh, he was on a different team then. Yeah, he was yeah. on a different team. So he didn't make it. To I guess he didn't he make it. Like one or two. I think he made it to all the big He's been, Yeah, he made it. To he, a, he has the yeah. most land experience by a long shot though on that. Yeah, team. yeah. Um, and then Sanguine is uh, Flame uh, hasn't. Yeah. Been, well, he's been as a well, coach, he right? Went, well, he as went like a, with G2, yeah. right? But he didn't play. He didn't play. He played at land, though, like practice-wise, I think. He's been Maybe. to land. He hasn't played on stage. <laughs> no, yeah, like yeah, that, yeah, yeah. On stage, yeah. That's, it's very I mean, you know. Yeah, it's different. Yeah, it's way different. Um, mm-hmm. So, yeah, Flame. Then uh, Edge has some experience, Edge has right? experience with Big Egos. Neo has Neo experience with, with Bug, uh, Gangstars, Sanguine. Baller, first time, right? Yeah. Baller's the first time, and Jalen experience, has experience. Yeah. 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 assuming he makes it Ooh. oh <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah you know that, <laughs> Sorry, can always, uh, that can always happen you never I know, know man. you never know maybe he'll just forget the It'll canadians like, can uh, uh business oh! <laughs> <laughs> the low-key classic dude <laughs> oh, oh, low-key classic. Classic. Uh, he he hasn't visited his family in, in lebanon anytime oh, yeah. recently so i think he might be okay maybe hopefully hopefully i i, no, I he's I actually like on the first angle now so he's on the right Fuck. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, Sanguine. Um, who's their Who's their sixth? Sanguine. Who's the sixth? Um, Sanguine? Sanguine six. It's like who would, who would the sixth person coming be? Don't they have a coach? Well, no, no, they don't. Have oh, a uh, Rain. Oh. Right? Would Rain, Rain? be coming? Oh on yeah. Oh yeah. I don't know. Didn't they? Um... Hype Unit has three Loki's. <laughs> I don't see. remember. 
Pryrus or Vav Pryrus. for Sanguine? Oh, yeah. yeah, I forgot about Pryrus. Yeah. But who would come? Like, I, That's the question. Yeah. Between yeah, like, Vav, Pryrus, or Rain. You who's think the it's one you bring? You know? Rain going, Pryrus, Pryrus is, driving. Uh, rank for the Pryrus is driving? Isn't he like... Isn't Pryrus? Yeah, like... <laughs> <laughs> he's like really young. Maybe he can get dropped off. You know? His mom's Maybe bringing it's him. Rain. Oh, yeah, 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 who, yeah, who the fuck knows? It's the crazy He's only Georgia, right? So, yeah. Yeah, the chance of them playing is slim. But, um... But, yeah. Yeah, Pryrus is backing up for Sanguine, I believe. He's been their sub for this whole split, I believe. Yeah, I yeah. think he played. No, he played for Bork uh, for, for a Bork, week. Yeah. And then he, for the most part of the split. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There, yeah. I know he's running for him a ton because yeah. uh, Jalen yeah. missing practice and like cut, can only play so many hours a week. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think their team's good, but they like, still but have But can weaknesses. they beat Sour Team is the question. Yeah. And it's, like, it's like kind of a, I don't know. It, it's, a, it's a big, it is a big question mark. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to figure it out. Yeah, I, I just don't see it, the NA teams being as good as the EU teams right now. Uh-huh. I still think EU has like the advantage like 70-30 is what I would go with. Mm-hmm. Um, do you think uh, any of the rele- like not relegated teams, do you think any of the teams are going to get relegated? What does that mean? Uh, oh, knocked out of PML. Oh, PML. Yeah. Uh, well, I think Zenith. Zenith. Right? Yeah. Well, Zenith, like, but, who's, but the thing is, like, here's the question: Who are the threats, right? Because I think in in, in NA, it's got to be it's got to be fuck, right? I don't. Know. I actually don't, I don't know, know any teams that aren't PML. Or, I'm yeah. That's a well, like, well, it's I, the one I know is fuck, and that is um, I don't know what the roster is now because Bagel they they they, oh, they yeah, moved see. Bones to <laughs> support. <laughs> What? Yeah, I don't you know, know Bones. I don't know who Bones is. You know Bones. I don't know Bones. You have pubbed with Bones. I don't. Is you he have pubbed with Bones. Is he the Bones with the? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, and he's a good player. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I just don't remember Bones. <laughs> Team Fuck is Jab Jab Ancient as Diff Bones. Probably Jingle Bones. Yeah, Jingle yeah, Bones. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I mean, I just don't think Zenith is like a team anymore, right? No, they are. They are. But like, they are, they, scram, but are they like, like in, are they intact? Uh, grinder at Stove get relegated. They. It seems like they have a new roster. Okay. But um. I, I see Borg saying um, if they like continue as a team together and all yeah. that. Yeah. Um, Is that I, I think Zenith gate? would be the one uh, being relegated. EUPML, I have no clue, I though. I, I don't know who's the tier 3 talent in EU, so... I, yeah, I don't yeah, know. EU, like, EU, we don't really teams. know the tier the 3. Yeah. If anyone in EU can tell us, I think mean, that'd be cool. Maybe they're like a new team. Who's on which team? Bork is like Vein, Bork Priz, is Vein Aspect, Aspect Priz, Priz, Frog, Frog and... and... Is Lasagna. it still long shot? Oh, uh, long shot. Yeah. Oh, yeah. long shot. Long shot. Lasagna. Lasagna's the coach. Yeah. yeah. And Zenith, uh, Zenith is Jostles, Toe, uh, Mage Monkey. I know the I know the is team. Know I can't think of it. Uh, Ozone is like barely there, from what I from what I understand. Yeah. Is that is that song? I don't know who's on Nixus's team because I know Nixus, but I, I don't know who's on his team. Nixus like if there's good teams in EU, then I'd like to know the roster. Oh, it's Playtech too, right? Yeah, on on Zenith. Huh. Call him out. Is that even a drama thing? He's like never there. <laughs> is that even drama? Like accidentally he dropping a, a drama bomb? I'm pretty sure it's yeah, really yeah, common. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He didn't even, didn't he caused, not even play the last match. He just caused an internal issue. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, man. You got all the leftovers of sis. Oh, that team could be okay. Oh, okay. If they still play the game, then yeah. Yeah, yeah. that could be okay. Yeah. Nix has got fucked. Oh, okay. That's unfortunate for him. Um, but yeah, so I guess we're both kind of, we're kind of predicting EU Penta will probably beat Hype Unit. Um, yeah. And Sang- Sour will probably beat Sanguine, uh, but I think I Sanguine know. has a shot. I think Sanguine yeah, has a shot. I think, I think that was a little bit closer. Yeah, like, I don't sure. think it's But I think Hype Unit slam. Didn't Hype Unit, like, windmill slam Sanguine the last time they played? No. I think yes. We're yeah. right. It was a 3 Oh, yeah, it was yeah. that game. Yeah. That was weird. But it happened. You know, maybe they just didn't care. Yeah. Maybe um, I already first see I'm just going to. I don't know. But I'm just going to play. <laughs> they got something to prove, you know. Yeah, yeah. They got something to prove. Just go in. Have fun at the land. Play your hearts out. Yeah. And just hope for the best. Yeah. Well, you never know who's watching, dude. Yeah. yeah, I think that's that's all we can say about that. Uh, which means we can move on to the next topic, which is our predictions for week twelve. Which, by the way, the, the change in chat. the change in the patch schedule. Oh yeah. Actually, is is making things like this is the meta. Yeah. This is it. This, this is, is the meta. MSI meta. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And nothing's changing. Um, from here on out, which is good, I think. Yeah. I don't even know the matchups. You're pulling up the matchups, right? Is that yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, good, 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 good. So I don't even know the matchups. So we're gonna find out. <laughs> I do not know either. Why well, am I the only one in my jersey? Because I I didn't get changed. I didn't. Yeah, think I took a shower because I had to wake up. Yeah, really I took early off my jersey. Yeah, it's waking up like 5 a.m. Guys. Yeah. Not even a joke. Man, you can a sacrifice, you know. We'll see. They're pulling up the matchups. I, I think it's it's. I think VP you plays Navi and Nip. Open. VP plays Navi and Nip, and I think the other team is Kanga. Mm-hmm. Which means Kanga also plays Navi. First well, set of the week, we uh, NIP and VP. Okay. Um. 
So the matchups for those two teams are actually pretty good for VP, I think, right? Mm-hmm. Um, comparatively to every other team, I think yeah. VP has a very good matchup into NAP. Um, they both have similar play styles, I think. Um, I do give it, right now in this meta, probably forward to NAP. Yeah, I think so. I think VP will definitely sneak away a couple maps. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You always got to worry about um, Fish Echo right now, right? That's a big thing. Uh, finding out Fish Echo counters is basically how you beat VP, I think, right now. You got to think of um, how you want to play against his EV, right? How you want to play against his Drogue on certain maps when they have the Genos. Yeah. Um, and his BK is also very scary on certain maps. The thing is, I think they're going to take it after today. I think they're going to take a really, really close look at their drafts. Mm-hmm. And I think they're going to look like a different team. Yeah. Against yeah, them. I could see that. I could even, I could even give it 4 3, honestly. Yeah. It really depends on. Depends you got to also remember, Nip is coming from like no fucking no, practice because yeah. of the stupid EU server stuff. Yeah. Right now. Yeah. Yep. And they have to travel like probably like one and a half days mm. this and week. And they're this also next playing week. on Bad Pink too, right? Yeah. That's also right now. Yeah. Up. Yep. Uh, they're scrumming on EU, which is like 150 half. Half of their games, it's 150 yeah. paying for them. So. And if they play on NA, apparently it's like 200 plus. Mm-hmm. Uh, what do you think? Yeah. Huh? I was just saying that uh, they also have to like travel. And no, no. Uh, like we, uh, we, I think, we, we I gave th- numbers. I think four three. I you think, think four three. three, 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 three yeah. Okay. Um. Uh. Next up, second game is Navi Kanga. Um. Now I think matchup wise, I think this is really rough for Kanga. I yeah. do think um, Navi is. A very good team, and I think Kanga ha- is insanely good at team play. But team play, I don't think is where you're going to be beating Navi because they're just so good at it, right? <laughs> yeah, I-, I feel like if you want to beat Navi, it's going to be a lot of mechanical outplays that you're going to have to do as a team, and then like capitalizing on those uh, mechanical outplays. And I mean, I, I think I think if Kanga have good drafts coming into this, I think it could work. But like the thing is, like mm-hmm. drafting is the one thing that you don't need to practice as much mm-hmm. like you can it's figure out you can thought. figure out drafting just by, by like if navi and if watched the games this week mm-hmm. like they not i'm not saying like they're gonna take the drafts but like they're gonna take the logic behind the drafts like mm-hmm. why did they pick this why did this work with this okay. being open they yeah that's like one this. thing where like even not practicing just watching the games you can still improve that yep uh, hold on i kind of I'm gonna, I'm gonna i'm gonna say i'm gonna say 4-1 navi i think Kanger gonna get a navi too. 4-1 navi yeah, I, I think it's very cleanly going to go to mm-hmm. Navi. Um, I just think team matchup wise, Kanga just isn't good en- good enough mechanically for some. Um, VP Navi. Um, that's going to be a good game. Yeah, I that's think that's going to be, be spicy. Um, I'm still going to give it to Navi though. I think um, Navi in this meta is very flexible, right? Because they were pulling out the Vivian stuff like even yeah. like week two. Okay, well, you say flexible to Vivian. I'm pretty sure every DPS <laughs> can play Vivian. Um, <laughs> but just like, like they've been practicing understanding the yes. hero limits, right? Yeah. And yeah, like using yeah. it in unique ways. Um, I think Navi is like one of those teams that can legit pull out anything, right? They've pulled out Shredge before, in yeah. the last meta before. They practice so many different things. Practice Moji. Um, yeah, I, I just think uh, in this meta they're very very scary as a team. I think VP's matchup into them is okay. It's definitely not good. Um. It's going to be a lot on uh, Fisheko and how much he can do and how much Vex can do with uh, helping out with that, right? It's going to be a lot about the um, Furia and Janos for VP, I think. It's going to be a lot about picking those early, getting the damage at amps for the uh, DPS. I mean, as up. long as like, they get through the, as long as one of them gets through the, ba- or as long as they both get through bands, you're pretty much guaranteed to get one. Because if they, oh, I mean, if they play uh, Furia, yeah, I'm kind of. Oh, thanks for hanging out to my. Uh, thanks for oh, going to my yeah. my my uh, info boxes. Oh, yeah. I just need to see. Oh. Um. As, as long as they both get through bands, I mean, you're guaranteed to get one. If they go Fury mm-hmm, and yeah. Genos, that's kind of a, kind of a crappy comp. I mean, mm-hmm. honestly, I'm, unless like, oh, sorry if you guys have some sleeper <laughs> binary star oh. strat that I don't know about, but like, I mean, uh, you don't really want Fury and Genos. Mm-hmm. But I think it's just a lot about being comfortable playing with it and um, just n- knowing what to give up for it. Yeah, I would uh, get the set for two. I think I'm gonna go. I four think four one. one. Four one, four one Navi. Navi. I think VP could take two maps. I think it'll be four two. Yeah, I, I, I think it'll be four two. I, I, see four them two. Taking, I don't think it's a hard. I, I can even see them taking the set. Honestly, um, I think momentum is a big thing for VP. Mm-hmm. If they yeah. like get rolling fast, if they win the first two maps, like it, it could be like a blowout four one for them. But yeah, um, I mean they beat them last time. Mm-hmm. So I, I think a betting person though would go for Navi uh, over yeah. VP. In the I think I think it'll be I think it'll be four two VP. It really depends on again like how much they take from this week. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Wait, got did you it. kill nice. it? Nice. Oh, yeah, I got it. So oh. there's a bug. Uh, there's not a bug Nighthouse is crawling with bugs. Bug is, uh, Spread the word. 
MIA. Um, and the final set of the week, we have Kanga and NIP. Hmm. I think... I think this one's going to be the roughest one for Kanga. Yeah. yeah. Because draft-wise, I feel like beating NIP is oh. even harder than Navi, right? Mm. Like, how do you outdraft the NIP? You figure out the formula. You figure out the formula? But I feel like NIP has is, their and... own formula every week. It's not really different every week, though. Well, I mean, it's not different, but it's unique from the standard meta, right? That's how I see it. I might they kind wrong. of built the double off tank meta, mm -hmm. right? The, the thing about Euro European teams is that, um, and even some NA teams to an extent, uh, they, they do kind of draft a little formulaic. Like you can, you can pretty much like look at what they're you covering, predict. and you yeah. can say they're going to pick this. Yeah. So like, I if you if you really do break it down ahead of time, you can predict you you can get in there. And predict, yeah. yeah. So I, I think it's possible if they're going to get good drafts, but I think that NIP are just like. Mechanical. Super mechanical. Like, like Bittner, dude. Oh my god. The stuff that Bittner can do is fucking nutty. Yeah. He is really good right now, and he's You're been feeling bored. himself the last few no, months. I'm not, I'm not bored anymore. <laughs> Sorry about but, um... We're here for you. Uh, yeah, I... I don't see Kanga beating them. Um, I think the set could honestly go 4-2, though. I, mm -hmm. I think NIP can um, let off some maps, and I think they will let off some maps, but I, I still give the set cleanly to NIP. I'm gonna say, if Kanga have a good game before if can have a good game against navi mm -hmm. i think it could be like four two four three if if kanga if it's like a stompy game i think kango i think it'll be a four, four one for yeah or four oh even i i see it. it's either four oh or four two i think it's it's too dependent on the momentum from the day before yeah yep no, i think that's big and that's all the predictions for this upcoming week oh, here are oh yeah yeah sorry four oh nip i like it for a nip okay, okay. um that's all predictions for this week, which means uh, we're past the topics, and as anybody who watched the previous iteration of Chain Reaction knows, uh, it's Q&A. There was actually a question I wanted to prompt because it's something I've been thinking about. Um, I'll, I'll bring it up just to start so we can wait while we get questions. Um, what if you right now had to build the best North American player team, only U.S. or Canada players, PPL and PML? Any PPL and PML. Any USA, any okay. USA American, or can, American. any can, North American player. How would you build the best team? What do you think the best team right now would be? Like, if you, like, like we, if you were like, we want to compete I with... I think Kresnik starts, and then okay. I go, then he... No, oh, oh I, I thought you meant, like... Do an order. Kresnik, me, you. Mm. Okay. Okay, yeah. Go so on. this is, like, US team, and you're like, we want to see, like, what no, kind of team key. would beat, like... I don't know about B... You know, or at least bad. contest with EU, right? Yeah. I mean, I think Navi or MV is contesting pretty after the Yeah, yeah. Like, like the thing is, the question is, the, the real root of the question is, is it just Envy? Is it, yeah. Is it, do you just, mm -hmm. do you just mm -hmm. do Envy? That was a juicy question, so. actually. I don't think you, I don't think you have to, but I think Envy is definitely, like, a team that can, right? Like, yeah, I mean, there, there are, there are the team that are. So I think you, like, it's like a weird question because you, you can just say Envy <laughs> or you can, like, or you can, like, throw in, like, a mixture which, like, um, it's like weird to like say. if you make a mixed roster, do you? I mean, I'm assuming you like. Is there a better off tank than Rubu? No, but like it's that's like, tough. I just it's, yeah, tough. it's a really hard question because like you don't want to say you're like these players are better than the envy players because they're really good. But like maybe I don't even think there's like a better fusion. Maybe it's just like a better like. <laughs> oh, maybe it's just oh. like a, a better like. I don't know. I think it's just envy. Because I, I wouldn't say like you just envy? I wouldn't say like me or Dethroner are better than Tolkien and like in a in a mixture team like with Rock and Rubu because you definitely want Rock Rubu random probably yeah um, Hayes and I wouldn't say like me Dethroner like anyone any other tank could just be like yeah replace Tolkien so I think it's it's like a, you think it's just envy I think it's just envy I mean I think I think you're you're they're probably right just because of the synergy mm -hmm. like ignoring synergy it's really so hard to say if, I don't I don't like the way the question Hayes versus raised. Vex Hayes versus Vex is the closest mm -hmm. I think I, yeah. I it's probably it's, pretty close there yeah, yeah for sure but I, I just think it's like it's a fun like thought exercise but I just mm -hmm. don't think you make a it's not realistic in yeah, this yeah. No, I, I think I think yeah, it's yeah, a very yeah. interesting question because I want to see like it'd be cool to see like a mixture of like like, like, it, like would like that's the question like mm -hmm. is is the perfect team already there do you do you do you like swap random for invocal make him and have him relearn blasters I don't think right and just have like a crazy mechanical but no random such a good leader yeah. like how do you like yeah. it's so hard to quantify it's like mm. personalities and stuff like that too. yeah yeah and i feel like a lot with this meta it isn't all about mechanics right it is a lot about how you play as a team mm -hmm. what you want to give up as a team and what you want to take as a team right 
in certain games, you're going to be giving the other team a stronger, like, um, off tank or whatever, right? Mm -hmm. And they'll have pressure on that side of the map. But then you need something else that can push the other side of the map. Or play soft on that side and give room to where you can stop the other side. Roster. People asking for what if we just made the best NA PML roster. So yeah, that, oh, that yeah, we could do that. that that's... Yeah, that one's interesting. Uh, switch me for Powtech. Sure. Another question about NA and E. We just don't know enough EU players, I think. Like, if we make a super team, like, I don't know. Um, I think for NA, I would probably do... Oof, who do you do main tank? Well, the main tanks for the main tanks for NA PML are Vayne... Um, Mage Monkey will now, I guess, because Jay was the main tank before, right? Honestly, Tay's the off tank, right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. In this meta, I'd, I'd pick Vayne. Really? I, I think in this meta, yeah. I think this meta suits them all, right? It's does, a lot about playmaking. Does Jay not count? Because he's not. Um, do we not count Jay? Counts. I think if Jay well, counts, we... I would say probably Jay than Vayne. But without Jay counting, I would say. Like, Vayne. no offense to Jay, but like, do you go out of your way to pick up a tank that you know will not make it to anyone? Well, mm hmm. It, yeah, yeah. Like it's it's a, it's a weird situation. Yeah, so yeah. I, I I would definitely go Vayne Tay. Um, DPS wise, I sl I probably think it's Edge over Stigma still, right? Mm -hmm. Um, blast roll, it's either Poison or Neo. Um, I don't think. Uh, I mean, frog. the other ones are it's Frog and who is the blast roll for Zenith right now? Toa. Toa. Yeah. Oh, it's still Toa. Yeah, that's right. I for some, I thought it was the direct for some reason. That's why I was. Um, like... and support. I I Paul or Steve. I think it's I'll support. Steve. I go T Mac. Really? I'd go T Mac. Yeah. I'd go like Vane. Paul or Steve. I think that's it. To, that's his roster. Vane, Paul or Steve. <laughs> I think hanging out. Right? Go, they're just hanging out at like. I think you have to go Tay for off tank. Tay for off tank for sure. I, I don't think there's a doubt about that. I mm -hmm. think Stigma Edge. There's like an argument, uh, but I still think I think, it, go with I think it's meta dependent. I, I, I honestly edge. don't know who. I think right now it's probably. And then yeah, poison. Yeah, yeah. I think poison, poison, now it's it. poison for blaster, yeah. personally. Yeah. You think poison over Neo? Yeah, for sure. Poison. More, I think poison's more flexible. More flexible, and I've I've seen a lot of them, but both, and mm -hmm. I just think poison's the better player overall. Um, yeah, I could definitely see that. I, I think it's like a. I think poison 60, needs better 40. nerves too. And you, yeah, you got to think nerves, about the yeah. mentality, personality, all that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Is poison has poison switched to like four veins and baller Steve? <laughs> <laughs> Now is it four veins with Canadian vein, or yeah. we got an egg thing here? Four land veins? Four. Or if I could choose, it would be Jalen support, and then those other players. Oh, if you could switch players over. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah. oh wait, Jaylen wait, Jalen support. Oh, whoa. So it's players. I'm a big I think fan I would of still go Bro, listen. If we're, if we're, can we go below PML? I want Bowens on support. Bones. I want Bowens on support, dude. Every time I, like, you know what happens? Every time I queue into a game and I get Bones on Damba, I get the same feeling I have when I get, like, Haze on Damba in my pub. I'm like, <laughs> hell yeah, dude. I'm going to get carried. <laughs> my I ass is about to get pocketed. I don't even have to think Bones about is so anything. fucking good. <laughs> dude, seriously. Uh, like, legit. Baller he's Steven. so good. Baller Steven. Ooh, I like that. I like Bones that. is a great casual. That's I don't know how he's been doing in scrims, but he's so good in casuals. Um, Crazy. Is Bones the next NA talent? Now, EU PML, what would you do? Oh, we don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't. I'm not comfortable enough. Really? Know, so. You just say Penna. You just say Penna? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, um, Maybe, okay. yeah, I mean, like. I mean. The, I don't know. It's weird. I just, like, here's what's going to happen. We're going to say the names we know, and people are going to be like, what about, what about uh, Jean-Claude Jean 3735? <laughs> he has been owning in, in all the... <laughs> like, all I, like the we're not, we're, it's going to be, it's going to be fucking people we don't know, dude. Like, you guys know all the fucking, like, sleepers, and we don't. Yeah, I'm not in the it's, trenches. It's I'm really, not in the trenches in EU looking at the uh, We're going to get, we're going to get, like, we're going to have an EU player come to the Knights house, and well, next week, next Jean-Claude will be beyond, <laughs> hell yeah. We're going to, we're going to try, let's get, like, Fanex or something next week. We'll talk to yeah. him. Oh. He, and he'll talk about it. Yeah, maybe. Okay. It's not a spoiler. I, I haven't said a fucking word to him, dude. Like, I don't know. <laughs> you think Phoenix knows uh, EU PMO? Yeah, definitely. Probably. Yeah. He's, he's in the trenches playing the casuals. Yeah, know. exactly. Yeah. Well, they, when, they, when they work. Exactly. When they work. <laughs> <laughs> maybe not recently. <laughs> um, what was I going to ask? Oh, yeah. There was actually... You know, let's see. Yeah, yeah, toss your questions, guys. We kind of started this prompt, but... Uh, if you guys don't Should have any right like now, a... I have a good prompt. Uh, just Q&A on the... I guess I could just change one. Yeah. I'll change intro to say... Yeah. Alright, let's see. How do we practice? You practice draft in scrims. Yeah, you just scrim it. Um, 
you basically go into a scrim trying to try something new out or figure something new out, right? About that simulates drafting. You could just you just do that with your team. Or do it with your team. Yeah, we do mock drafts too. Like yeah, when you really need um when you like really map need it. specific, right? Yeah. You're playing against a certain team, you know you wanna take Eevee off the board, let's say, right? Yeah. You would specifically draft for you getting first pick, you getting. I remember we actually plan. I remember like against one of the teams this week, we like typed a draft out in Notepad, and then literally the exact draft that we typed out happened. We were like, "Hell yeah, <laughs> yeah." I How know. does it feel that SSG is ahead of Chibone's team? I mean, That's tough. the same as it has been <laughs> all season. Yeah. Sorry, friend. Unfortunate. Not, Paper drafts. Not week one, dude. Week no, we won. We were positive. No, we, we weren't last. We were 0-0. Zero, zero. Yeah, oh, actually, we, we were, were below positive. you. You're right. You're right. We were positive. You're right. <laughs> we're doing, only say I, that I, meta you know, happy the whole I was, time. You know, happy I was, we were like fourth place still, like with no games played. <laughs> I was like... <laughs> we just, yeah, that would have been a risky one, bro. Absolutely not. <laughs> okay. I liked the empty gadget. Make sure you all fill out the esports survey. Yes, make sure you fill out the esports. Wait, survey. there's an esports survey. Space Station Gaming is your favorite team. Where's the, no, where's the esports Pittsburgh survey? Pittsburgh Knights. What? We have the most followers on Twitter. Twitter, dude. Really? Wait, yeah. wait, like player wise. When did they buy no, that Twitter wait, account? We're not gonna talk about the giveaway though, right? We're not gonna talk giveaway. about the giveaway. Giveaway. <laughs> two thousand players, right? Two thousand followers. What? What giveaway? I don't remember. Maybe there's a big giveaway that like, kind of there was a giveaway? Kinda inflated like all oh, you guys' Twitter followers no. by three thousand. What? Oh, what? What is that? I'm just saying, okay, no. Vapor. No. Well, Vapor got rid of all his followers. Yeah, Vapor got rid of Just go look at Vapor's. You want to see the real We were things. actually yelling at him in the car. Yeah, he, we I don't know why he did that. And he actually took his time and went one by one. SSG is the best social media team. You're yeah, not wrong. Yeah, SSG is pretty dude. good. Dude. <laughs> Pittsburgh guys aren't too bad, dude. Did you see the uh, Twitter video for that? No, I didn't actually. What, it was yours? after beat RNG, yeah. Okay. It was actually hilarious. But like, oh my god, dude, the Kanga one, oh my god, the, the yeah. original Kanga one, where they yeah. just, <laughs> yeah, you know, kangaroos can play paladins. <laughs> <laughs> dude, the dedication for Pookie to run over his hand. Yeah. Ask Shark for a giveaway. True. Top golf cards. Mm-hmm. Top golf gift. Top golf gift card. Giveaway some on jerseys. Twitter. Give away some, some jerseys, jerseys. Some white Loki t-shirts. Jerseys. Loki, Loki jerseys. jerseys. They, they have. Away. They have Let's a go. warehouse full of Loki yeah. jerseys. How many jerseys do you have? Uh, two. One of them is. I don't know if I should say it. One of them is wrong. And What do you uh, mean? What do you like mean one by of them, wrong? Like one of them, okay, so all my team, except for me and like an Invoco, I think, we got like the right sponsors, right? But then me and Invoco got like an old one with like yeah. a different sponsor on the bottom. And uh, no like HyperX here, HyperX is here instead. So we're supposed to be getting new ones. Yeah, um, we leg- maybe I we'll think I legit have what wrong, six jerseys. What wrong sponsor do you have on your ass? Um, NVIDIA is on the ass when okay. uh, something else it should be on the ass. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, we He's have changing a RTX on. Uh, let's see. And, and so anybody else, guys? How come here is way more chatty? Because we're in person. You know how yeah. much harder it is to get a word in edgewise when I can't just look at him to like prompt him to speak. Yeah. <laughs> you can't stare through a webcam, but you can stare. Yeah, out exactly. Out. I mean, I could just do this what online, but I don't. Yeah, how does he know I'm looking at him? Was uh, there's actually like a cool thing we do on the desk where like um, on like the the world champs desk. Like, you can just, like, you, like, put two fingers on the desk if you want to get thrown to by, like, mm. the host. So, like, they know. Oh, to, that's pretty cool. To, it, it's only when there's multiple people. Cause, like, yeah. Because, like, you know, when it's just, like, when, I, like, 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 when I'm there and it's, like, just two people, like, of course he's going to throw it to me. Who else yeah. is he going to throw? He's going to look to the right and nobody and be like. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> and he says nothing. How do you guys handle the pressure of a losing streak? Oof. Um. <sighs> no. Drinking um, is not condoned. No, don't drink. Not condoned. Um. How I personally handle a losing streak is I, I don't necessarily ignore it. I um. Ricardo, would you like to show? No. <laughs> <laughs> um, one thing I do is I kind of just ignore it. I um, I look at myself and I just look to improve myself and I look towards the next. My good brother, my good brother, let's go! I'm coming up there. Uh, <laughs> you say no, I'm not. Yeah, he said I'm no. I'm pissed. Um, but I just kind of look to improve myself going into next week. I look at my next matchup. I don't really, like, focus on losses. I know um, today I got hit pretty hard with it just because, like, this was our last chance of going into MSI. Mm-hmm. I had a – this is probably, like, my worst performance this whole entire year. By, like, a long shot, too, I think. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. For me, um, today's games – Hello. It's – you're not supposed to look at me when I fake walk away. <laughs> Today's you game really threw the whole illusion away. Oh my Today's god! Today's games were really rough for me. Like yeah. I, I, 
fed. Like the slash, I don't I know if they showed the like slash lines. They were not very beautiful on the first two maps. Uh, I kind of just tend to like keep focusing on like the future and like thinking mm. like I can always improve. I can always like yeah. this isn't my best. And when you it's... play bad, you know what you need to improve yeah. on, right? Of course. And yeah. it's just trying to stay positive and also like keeping it realistic and like saying, okay, I suck. I need to get better. Mm. Yeah, like you have to get the most you can out of it because like if you if you fall into a pit from losing a couple games like you'll just you're not gonna down. recover you'll right? just spiral down yeah, yeah you have to like i know people are just like oh, i can't believe these teams are taking this loss seriously and it's like yeah. well yeah they are taking it seriously they that ha- they have to move past it like, yeah. no team can just sit there in a you know in an absolute I'm, fucking what well, was me i I'm, yeah you I can't suck. exactly you can't what was me about it you have to find the pot like you have to be realistic but find the positivity about what you've done or else you'll never recover and you'll never move forward i actually thought it would be a fuck ton <laughs> I think I've got a review um, every single God day. Review. No, it, it's a God review. Yeah. He does it. No, it's like God, God review. review. Hotel room. Yeah, I, I think I've got a review probably every day now. Mm-hmm. For like the last month, I think I've got a review every single day. Um, Yeah, just to like kind of like add on to losing. I think if we would have just like sat down and just like gave up, I feel like we wouldn't have had close sets. Because like we have throughout the season, right? Yeah. We went. 4-2 with Na'Vi. We went 4-2 with Envy. We went 4-1 with you guys. We went, and that 4-1 felt like really close, right? It was 4-3. Yeah, the maps were really close. Yeah. yeah. Um, we had multiple close sets. It's just yeah, Ricotta. Um, <laughs> yeah. We, the we just never like the last part of it just never connected throughout the whole entire um, season. And it, it sucks, but it happens. Yeah. Um, you got to go into the next season and hope you're the next snip, right? Yeah. For us, the night slots was personally like the hardest one for me. Second was like is that just because Kliku like shit on you guys after? No, the night slots. Uh, oh, the other one. The other yeah, one yeah, with, like yeah. we were up three one. Yeah, yeah. Unfortunate stuff happened, and I just felt like we choked. It. We choked, mm-hmm. and then after that, like every like like the nip set three three, we choked, and it was just like it sucks, but you you just got to move past it, mm-hmm. and you got to try your best to get over it. Ooh. What would be the best paladins draw? Are we ignoring language barriers, Outlander? I think we yeah. ignore the language right. Uh, well, I think we've answered this question before, but I think times have changed. It's hundred percent changed. Yeah. Um, I think it's without a doubt Bitner right now, right? That's who you want. On, oh, I'm projectile on like Hitscan DPS specifically. Yeah. I think it's Bitner, and it's either Fischeko or it's FRZ God. It's one of those two for blast. I think it's FRZ. FRZ. FRZ is more consistent, I think. It's hard to say who's like. It might change with the roster. Because though. FRZ is that's true. Super flexible. Mm-hmm. Like. His Cassian Charlin, oh, that's a little scary. His his snipers are really good. His uh. his, oh, his, 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 his the fact that his hit scans and his blaster are like all basically at the same level. I, I would say FRZ. Um, so FRZ Bitner, hundred yeah. percent. Right? Mm. That's how, I think that sounds pretty solid. Support. Support. I feel like it's up in the air. It, you yeah. can make a lot of different. I think like, it's I think it's spunky just because of, like spunky. You know, I asked the same question to my team and they they said cuss. Really? Yeah. yeah. They, they, I, they, I can they, see it honestly. They actually they think really really highly of cuss because they think mm. he's the best aggressive support. Hmm. Like by by they think really? he's like an insane aggressive support yeah mm-hmm. um but it, it, there's so many different supports you can say for it yeah um, it's really team dependent I think support wise um off tank I think it's hundred percent phoenix I um I think the next closest person is Rubu mm-hmm. uh off tank wise I mean he, he's he's proven himself a lot more right yeah I I think phoenix just they like, had a better season phoenix I think, has so, far. so much more impact on the team I feel like right because phoenix drafts he igls he does a lot of common he like does a lot of fire review and like the thought process mm-hmm. first team so I think hundred percent phoenix so that's three slots locked support yeah. don't know main tank now that's a question mark um. I think a top one could be Rachel. That's I literally think. who I, I was. I was gonna yeah, say like I'm gonna put in for Rachel because I really, I swear to God, I think I, I never knew how how talented he was till I watched him play. Mm-hmm. Lazy is definitely lazy. lazy. Yeah. lazy. I think Although lazy. I don't want to watch, I don't want to watch lazy play. Dude, yeah. his his cursor. I I, I don't but know he how he hits everything. It, he hits I, everything, I think, dude. Take, it looks like take... he's drawing triangles. Like he's some Illuminati plant in the Paladin yeah. building. Like I, I, it's unreal. I don't know. Um, but he he's definitely there, and I think the last one. Surprisingly, is a uh, bonker. I don't I think, think that's surprising. Had. I don't think that's surprising. I don't think that's surprising. Well, at the start of the season, if you told me bonker was a top three main tank, like preseason or like preseason, I would have said you would. Well, it's because oh, everybody because was everyone everybody's putting nip like six or seven. Yeah, yeah. yeah. everybody's um, the bottom four. Um, but um, at the end of the season, I definitely think bonker could be the best. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think it's between those three. Mm-hmm. I would personally lean towards. <sighs> It's either Bonker or Lazy for me. I think it's Lazy for me. I, I think I lean towards Bonker. I, I think Lazy has the best Inara of the three. Yeah. 
Lazy's best in R. I think Lazy's in R is crazy. I think the best barrack oh, it might be Lazy. I think it's Lazy again. Um, off tank wise, Obak is definitely the best off tank mm-hmm. out of the three. Like, yeah. uh, double off tank. Um, so it's they, they lazy. practice the most. Yeah. Thing. So if your so if your roster is Lazy, Phoenix, Tenor, and FRZ, FRZ, who is who is the support you think? It's well, okay. Um, I think it's Spunky, Cuss. I think it's one of those two, honestly, is what I would go with. I'd probably say Cuss. You don't think Vex? You could definitely say Vex, yeah. I would personally go with Cuss, though. You think so? Yeah. With that team? I would say with that team, yeah. Well, that's like, you want an aggressive support for the aggressive team, right? Mm -hmm. Mm Mm-hmm. But. I think Vex toes the line a lot, like, a lot. Mm-hmm. He, he does. He does. He does both styles. Whatever mm-hmm. his team would need around that. I, I think Smokey's a more defensive support. I mean, he's not. But I just like, think he all definitely around, makes his fight. So yeah, I think all around he's just like the yeah, fit yeah. for that team. He has like a lot of good like. Uh, gen- are, 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 his channel salts are so annoying. Oh yeah, my yeah, god, yeah, really like ugh, Spunky with that shit, dude. Jesus. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I would personally go with uh, Spunky or Gus with that last spot. All right. Who were the three main tanks? Uh, we had decided on Lazy, but the three up in the air were Lazy Bonker and Hachal. Richal. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I slipped into fucking Portuguese. Oh, Portuguese, man. But yeah. That's, a, that's how they pronounce it, by the way. Really? Yeah, it's, it, it, that, that, that is pronounced Hachal in Portuguese. Huh. I would not uh, predict that. Well, R is H. Yeah. And like, yeah. C, and like the, the C is like an S. And that A-O... Um, it, it's supposed to be something like a like a like a squiggle over it, an Enya, a tilde, yes. and that makes it like a oh, mm. like a weird like nasally, like what like it, that like red is pow, mm-hmm. but with the squiggle, so it's like pow. Anyway, Portuguese lesson with Kresnik. I really barely know it, so there you guys go. Um, has comp scene been feeling more open or more closed off? I mean, it's hard. I think it's really hard for us to judge from the position of the PPL. I think that would be a question more towards I, people in the chat that. I think PPL is more disconnected with PML than it was. 100%. Yeah, for sure. Like, yeah, we we don't talk as much to these people. We don't help them out as much. Um, we don't play against them. I just feel like I don't have enough time to like the gap. Watch the game. The gap nice. is like a oh, big two. The gap. Yeah. Got the gap got a lot bigger. Big. Well, that's just because PML PPL got so much better this year, right? Yeah. If yeah. you look at all the teams from the start, like everyone's improved so much, like. Every PML team, I think, would get dumpstered except for Penta, and I still think Penta would be probably eighth or seventh. I, I don't think they'd be. They, they, I think they'd be eighth. Um, but PML and PPL has such a big like, ev- like such a big gap between them right now. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry if this is a- as obvious or has been asked, but is Atlas really good in PPL? Beyond good. You could say yeah. that. He, he's uh, passable. Good. I would say yeah, beyond <laughs> effing good, in the hands of a good off tank, like he can legit like one v five. He can he can really control the game. I mean, just being able to kite around a shield at fifty percent speed, mm. uh, deny any and all healing, uh, uh, HP reset, pretty yeah, good. Full, uh, full basically HP, two zero full to, health bars, zero to uh, yeah. thirteen fifty damage, and like a close range left click if you hit most of your headshots. Oh yeah, so like fun. he's very strong. There's a, he's getting banned and picked over Makoa in some places. I think. Mm. Or, like, some teams are, like, picking McCoy and then being like, fuck, I wish we had Atlas. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I definitely think a team would definitely think that after Frog Owl. Hold that. Yeah. Bring Terminus. Terminus is back. Let's Ter- go. Terminus is back. X daddy. X I took the builds, dude. I was ready, but I didn't get to pull it out. Thoughts on F. I like his other build names Dude, F. casting in the game was good. I didn't get to hear it. No? Really. I mean. Oh, yeah. F. Dot's guys. Yeah, how, really... how much time we had he... to listen to our games back. Yeah. I think he was. I think he was really good. Yeah, yeah I mean, thought was really good. Yeah, I liked him a lot. Thoughts on Rain Day not casting? He's just not here. I mean, he's like, doing Rainbow Six. He didn't get Las kicked. Vegas. Yeah, he's he's doing the Allied Esports Minor yeah. for Rainbow Six right now. I wouldn't mind Efta as a permanent addition, but obviously that's not possible. So, I agree Gore, with I think that. Gore listened to their feedback. I mean, it was good. I will actually. I tr- I'm trying to get into the desk next week, but they already scheduled it with Efta again. I think. Mm. Uh, oh shit! Trying to. Well, like, uh, not just on the desk, like casting too. But yeah, I asked. We'll see. They, but I think the schedule was already. No, well imagine made. a uh, Kresnik and G Bunny cast. <laughs> <laughs> well, thing is, I have a lot of. I would say at this point, I have a fair amount of experience. I have a 
He has about chain reaction experience. I actually cast him two v two turning. You cast what? Two v two turning Valdens. Oh really? How did that? Yeah, that was um that was a fun turning. No reset. No reset MC. Yeah, well, I thought there was a reset for. Mm, I think PWC. No, I think it's fine because like right, there's still an opportunity. But like for you guys, to, for you guys to make, well, yeah, because like Cause there's like, no reset. It's, it's fine because like no team is excluded from. So, yeah, like, I'm assuming there's gonna be a qualifier. We don't know for sure. To yeah, be fair, we, yeah, don't we don't know don't. for sure. But no. if it's the same as it was last season, every team will still get to be there. A chance by playing PML teams. Yeah, because yeah, you got you guys made it into the PWC queue and you had like one win, or two wins. Did you guys beat SK twice, or did you beat SK well, once? No, they had one win. Every yeah, set, that, every one. last two splits had one win. Yeah, yeah. 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 Gormizer is, no. is a is a goddamn. Saint. I like Gormizer. Gormizer has been Gormizer is a saint. really good recently, and he's Gore got a lot better. Yeah. yeah. Same with Dolson. Dolson has improved a lot recently too. I think mm-hmm. they are. They're also. But I just want to. I just want to say that they're all like. I've, I mean, I've worked with them all. They're all. They're really awesome. Sure. Awesome. Yeah. People. Dave Dolson. Dave Dolson. 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 <laughs> <laughs> it's a good name. Dave the Caster. Gore, Gore is the same, and he and like all of them do try very hard. Like they all like they do their study. They they do everything they have to do. Like mm. they they are following the game. Um, are PPL rosters completely locked? No, no. Uh, I don't know if there's a roster lock. See, so the thing is, I came in so late. Like I was, I I became part of all of this in like mid March, and even even like to this day, I I mean, I still don't get emails. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, well, yeah I think it's only the team captains that get the emails because yeah. I don't get emails. It's I, only custom. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. And it's custom. up to your captain to hand them down. To yeah, here's the thing. Aries um, is a. Uh, Aries, we don't, we don't get it. Right I think he's, he's on the phone with his girlfriend. He sees the notification. He just swipes up. I want to see. Yeah. I want to see fun stuff for all stars that isn't just like tandem mode and like stuff like that that they've done. But I don't know like how much. Like, I don't have high hopes. I want to cast all stars. I want to cast all stars. <laughs> I want to see. I don't care if I. I want some wacky stuff for all stars, dude. I don't know what they could do, but I need some creativity there. Let's do um. Let's do that like, uh, no hero limit. Like like that one like the stone keep used to be, yeah, where you yeah. could just pick anything. That'd I, be cool. They definitely need to do, like you need to like do some stuff with the game. There, you can't just be like, oh, best players uh, here, vote for them. Like that'd be boring. Let's see. Thoughts on me casting? Did you guys see my? You guys probably didn't watch my games. I didn't watch I games. I, I cast. Wait, 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 I, I didn't oh. watch it. Yeah, I, fig- I figured. It's fine. Kim actually could be a good caster though. You have a lot of Thanks. info about the game. Um, Thanks. Bonker's really good because he knows how, has, how to play make, right? He yeah. knows how to play make and when to play make. And he is probably one of the best main tanks of the I... that, that is the reason why I see him in top three is because yeah. he is the best playmaker when in all stars. When is or main uh, tank role, I, mean. I actually don't know. I feel like it's in is it even happening still? Because like there's not there's not much of a break between MSI and stage there two like right? according to the break. schedule. Four weeks. There's like a three week break. It's like a two or three week break. Oh, so I don't shit. know when they're gonna fall. I right. might miss Arnold stock. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's actually fucked. What? No, my parents hold the charity concert yeah. every year. Oh. I might miss it. Oh, that sucks. Um, but yeah, so not. I mean, if I wanted to, if I want to be on production, I'm not saying I'm going to be an all star coach. I'm, I just want. I want to cast it. I want to cast it. After you that's, that's all you. you got but um, but yeah, like after Nipwood's NSI because they don't have a coach. <laughs> in, in this meta, how I see like main tanks like differentiating from each other is like how well they can live and how well can they play make. Uh, the playmaking got like a lot bigger than what it was beforehand, right? Uh, the patch before the season started, like playmaking wasn't that big on the main tank role, but like. That first patch 30th. of the season, it was all about playmaking and uh, space Wait, taking. When's MSI? Was it exactly can't be the thirtieth. What do you mean? Well, oh, oh, um, MSI is. Oh no, it's the week of. It's the week of MSI, right? Yeah, it's so it's just back. Oh, to back. oh, yeah, yeah. That's so it's the thirtieth. Really? Yeah, yeah. MSI oh. ends July third. Really? That's what it said. Oh, so the it's thing. Uh, it's all stars MSI. All stars. Yeah, I guess it's all stars then MSI. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. I guess so. I guess so. Okay, cool. So I'll be here. That's interesting. Huh? Cool. Best man players in the world. We kind of did that already. Yeah. We really did yeah. that earlier. We I can't th- do well, the consensus, we like a big team. The consensus yeah. was like, um, it was Vayne, you. Yeah, Vayne, it was Vayne, Tay, Baller, Steve. Um, you well, said, we you were said T-Mac. In, it was one T-Mac, uh, two Baller, and then or Jalen, uh, and, uh, and, and then it was Edge, Edge and Poison. Yeah. yeah. Um, how did I become coach of a South American team? Aries DM me and said, "Hey, we're looking for a coach," and I said, "Okay, uh, I know Jake." From uh, this team is coaching. He was like, "How about you?" And I'm like, "How about me?" And then I was, <laughs> and then I was the coach of SSG. <laughs> that's that's basically how it, that's basically how it happened. Oh, that's hilarious. 
That was literally the entirety of it. He was like, how about you? And I'm like, uh, okay. Let me tell Gobokono's Wrath one game and fast for I mean, I'm a, I'm a vouch. I'm, I'm, a, I'm, I'll vouch for Stun Damba solo heal, but you cannot That's do a damage. it. With, you cannot do it with two tanks. That's a damage, uh, Damba Rickley. You, not, not even no, dogs. that's Wakona's curse. Is the damage. oh, yeah. oh shit, that's tough. <laughs> I thought the legendary card was called Snake Dogs. Is it not? No, no that's the name. Of that's the, the, ability, the name of the ability. Toss a snake. Just when you that's, toss a that's, snake. That's, that's tough. Did you do a play like a pro by any chance? Mm. I haven't. I want to do one. I did an R one. I want to do one for Terminus, <laughs> they're, but they're not going to ask me to do it. Yeah, I want to do one for Atlas. If I get it, I'm going to go with Atlas or Ash. I don't lie. know if Ash was on. I wasn't prepared for the Bunny, play like a pro. Bunny played Domba like a pro. <laughs> <laughs> Just heal your team. You have to like think about the cards on the spot. And yeah. yeah. It, it was like I, I came in for like a pregame interview and they were just like, can you do play a pro? Too? Yeah, and they uh, pretty here just like, yeah, let's do a play, play like a pro, yeah. play a character. And just, you know. I don't know if they aired the one for Cus yet, but I, I know I, I've there. been seeing like snippets of. Spoilers. I've been seeing snippets but of. I, I didn't Moon's say who it was. Oh, so it was Cus. I mean, I, I said Cuss, but not the champion move for Cuss. I'm going to guess Damba. We'll see. We'll see. Let's see. Uh, how do you choose the best off-tank in the game? How well they can live? How well they can playmake? Is it the same as the best? Whoever can make the most space and walk away alive. Or die when they need to. Just like mm-hmm. the best decision-making, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Um, off-tank's a lot about decision-making and how much you can help your team right mm-hmm. with communication wise like uh brain wise and all that that like that's how i rank the uh off tank right yeah, now yeah cuz off tank is like a really important caller yeah you mm-hmm. have to call a lot you have to know, understand the game a lot cuz you're basically the win condition or have to make the win condition every single mid fight yeah. right um it is a really hard role like i mean the dps with the off tank can like pick that up and like calm a lot you know daddy that's what? Gus. Oh, that. that's Gus. Oh, sorry. I did. I was you really. Out on it, yeah. I, I I did miss out on it. That's why I was like, the fuck Inside are you talking joke. about? What's Loki up to now? Uh, can college. we talk about? Can we talk Loki about? Loki actually plays a lot of Albion online. Now. Oh, I yeah. was gonna say, can we talk about what almost was? What with Loki? Him and TBL. Him and PML. Him and PML. Oh yeah. I mean, we can talk about that. It's been a while. Yeah. It's been a couple I mean, weeks. Right? It didn't happen. I don't think so that like, like ever a... would have happened. What though? do you mean? I think there was definitely there were tryouts. Yeah. Was, there was a trial. There was really? trials. Yeah, we can talk. We can talk about that, right? Yeah, he's the biggest renegade. He thing almost. In the PPL discussion. Yeah, I'll just. I'll, it's not. A just leak it. It's PML. Yeah, it's PML. It's PML. Yeah. Like for four months. It's ago. PML. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he tried oh. out. He tried out uh, with Edge for NOP when Edge was on NOP still. I don't know if he tried uh, out though. Yes, he did. he did. That was considered a trial. I saw him play. So uh, yes. I mean, I know he um, played. I don't know if it was a trial, Loki. Though. Loki tried out with Edge as his second. Like, Ugh. yeah, yeah. Loki, Loki tried out with Edge, and, like, the team was oh, stuck yeah. between... The, the NLP was, like, it was either keep Edge and pick up Loki, or cut Edge and pick up Stigma and Poison. And that's that's what they did, obviously, yeah. because now they have them. Uh, Loki... Oh, thank you very much for the resub, Cosmic. I wouldn't have actually uh, said that during the podcast, the, the, the main podcast, but I'm glad you did it now. Imagine being Crescible Mega Load. Leaks. It was a trout. Yeah, yeah. Leaks. No, it's not leak. It doesn't matter. It's a so relevant. So relevant. All right, now. Well, I'm, not saying, PML, I'm not saying PML well, is irrelevant. PML I'm, is saying, oh, I'm a... saying it being a leak is irrelevant. Okay, I'm not saying man, PML is sus, irrelevant. Bud. That's us. <laughs> He's looking at the legs. Great dude. legs, G-Money. You're going to shit off the thighs right look, there. Bro. Look at those on? legs, dude. He I'll could, skip that leg. G-Money could crush my skull. Look at the calves, dude. Oh, what's going on? What's going on? Relax. What was the worst thing I, I I told a really bad story on chain once because I remember you being like really disgusted. I don't remember what the story was. Does anyone in chat remember? I don't remember. Does anyone remember? It was like I don't remember what it was. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. This is why I'm not coming downstairs. Come on, you can't. You you're not gonna come down here and appreciate bunny spies. He's already had enough of that. Braid his leg. <laughs> every every scrim. I assume it's the same thing. Yeah. I love how I love how you don't laugh or do anything and you type lol in chat. They, you know you know they know, right? But you know I'm, they can see you, right? I'm talking to Ricardo in the chat. I don't want to be like, you know, Ricardo already you know, he's, knows. He's, he's I mean, watching the stream, man. He already knows I'm disappointed in him, dude. He should be down here. He's disappointed in you. I'm disappointed. Come down, please. Nothing. No, that's me. No. <laughs> we'll see. That's everybody just looking up at Ricardo's door. Absolute silence. <laughs> 
<laughs> Can I say that OKTA is a great emote? OKTA. OKTA is a great emote. Someone should make it on the keep it on the Twitch. <sighs> You want to just bring the laptop to Ricardo's? Oh, we can't. We oh, we can. can. That's a huge can. cable. True. That is. We they could. Can't get, that was an expensive cable, It might cable get dangerous. Too. He might lock the... Oh, he's probably locking the door right now, actually. I can actually Wait. break into that door. Yeah. That's yeah. Awesome. That's what is it? So... <laughs> <laughs> he's spamming a lot, by the way. Um, he is a grenade. <laughs> but yeah, I think it was the second week we were here, Payne locked the bathroom from both sides. Uh-huh. So he has an individual door in his room to the bathroom, and there's also a door in the hallway. He locks both the doors two weeks in. How long till a pro yeah. matches? I, I was thinking so we had to learn how to break in because the owner didn't. What if, like, you're just swiping, right? And, like, let's say Mallory's on Tinder, right? And, like, she has Tinder gold and she gets the notification. Like, that's a little awkward. Wait, wait no? have this come up? Uh, I'm going to push your ass. How long until a uh, pro player matches with a high res employee? Oh, that, that's probably already happened. That is probably. Though. It's probably already happened. Yeah. Looking, dude. Not specifically with, with the people we were mentioning, but no, no. it's probably already happened. That's probably happened. I, I mean, I don't know who... There's a lot of high-res employees. Are still See, listen, I'm, I'm, so, I'm so... I'm, I've literally never used Tinder, and every single person on my team has a girlfriend, so like, I uh-huh. don't know how much you guys are, are using Tinder, but... Uh, I might be on Tinder or Bumble a little bit. Yeah, it's like the only thing to do in the hotel room at night when it's 11 p.m. and you gotta sleep. Bunny, why do you have Grinder open? <laughs> um, but yeah, it's in there. Bubbles popping here. It's, it's popping. popping. You said it's popping. Okay, it's popping. It's popping. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's sure. popping. It's popping. Apparently he said it's popping. It's popping. It's popping. It's popping. It's popping. I've literally like never. I think I like went. I like years ago. Like when it like just came out. I was like logging with Facebook and nope. Like I just ne- <laughs> I downloaded yeah. the app. Saw that you have to connect your Facebook. I was just like fuck that. I don't even care. Yeah. Let's see. We're still in Q&A, by the way, guys. I'm probably not for too much longer, but, like, again, if you guys have any questions, just throw them at us. If you want to do, like, another another player-based prompt, there was there was one we did way, way long ago that was, like, one player from each region uh, on a roll. I like that. Like, we were limited, hard limited to one on each. No regions. PPL, baby. Let's go. I, I, I like that. Also, do, how do you guys think the other regions are going to get into the PWC? Because we really don't know. Like, we really well, don't have any insight. Because Russia region. and P- – like, I know Brazil has their, like, Brazilian – Brazil has the BPL. And I don't know, like, OCE I died. thought it's all PML and – Yeah, PPL. I think they're not doing, like – I thought it's all PML. Maybe no, they'll do something they're, for no, OCE, I, think, I feel maybe. like. Maybe. But I don't know about Russia. Russia became EU PML, basically. Like, there's yeah, no yeah, Russian – Star Ladder League going so, on right now. Are there any good female players in Paladin's potential PPL? I don't know about potential, potential PPL, PPL yet. No. Um, I mean, obviously, I mean they're grinding. They're trying they're to. They're grinding. Get there. They're they're on they're on the grind, but I don't know if anyone's ready quite yet. Um, I I don't know about EU. Like I don't oh, know about no EU really. Clue I don't know about, about EU either. No clue. I mean, like NA NA tier two tier three. There's uh, Betty. There's Del Rey who's subbing for Zenith. I think frequency was the best. Was yeah, I was mean, people were people were talking lovely? about Lovely, but I never played. It was probably no, Lovely was the yeah. Best I never game. really played with Lovely. I don't know how much frequency grind actually. It was Lovely, but even Lovely was still like way behind, of like even top PMO. But I mean, they're grinding. I wouldn't mm. be surprised to see someone there someday. Uh, what else was we gonna say? Uh, what's the G Fuel promo code for this episode of Chain Reaction? Don't worry about it. I'm gonna turn the camera down for a second just so you guys can see our. Sponsor, not sponsored. You can even see the loose table below it. I'm just saying. Red, Red Bull, give me up. Um, what was something else? Who has the best team house? Envy. 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 Yeah. Envy. Renegades. 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 I, I've seen Renegades team house is pretty Renegades sick, dude. Um, I've seen I've seen the I've seen the cardboard boxes. <laughs> Dude, there's actually like a, a little mini homeless camp that we drive by think, every time we go to Axis, and I'm always like, Renegade's house. <laughs> every I time. Teams, I think teams should be forced to be located in Atlanta for phase two. I think being in a hotel is not acceptable. Yes. And it's free money, so that like orgs are literally being, I want to say lazy, or is there something going on behind the scenes well, that makes it. In, like, I think the uh, the main problem with doing it phase one was the fact that. We didn't have much. Issues. There's also very, like the very low relative um, warning. Yeah, mm, yeah, yeah. There was well, enough warning, and and they had to get new. I think that's on Harris. Like, like that yeah. night, had we to get Kanga. I think like I Sanguine knew. knew when it was like really under the radar. I knew in and, September. Like, other orgs I didn't even know. I knew in September yeah. from like Splice. I think I guess I can say that at this point. Like Splice Whoa, was cold. Splice said that really. I did not know about that. Really? Yeah. No, I never heard about that. Yeah. If um, Kanga, exactly. Like Hades came here and like did the house for his team. I don't know what the excuse is for other orgs that have like actual staff yeah. and actual like. 
Uh, it's it's for saying, we still it's, don't have visas, by the way. It's literally free money, and people are like slacking getting visas and and shit like that. It's unacceptable. Uh, our visas aren't on our org's end, though. No, we know for sure they're not. Mm-hmm. Like we we've seen the internal stuff. Like yeah, okay. our visas are not in our org's hands at this point. I mean, and I, 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 I agree. Mine, I, they're taking a while with mine. High res. <laughs> I agree with the uh, one match per week from every team. The schedule is so. But you got right That's now. like yeah, I don't like the schedule the is schedules. pretty sparse. But like, there's also the schedule is um, terrible for us. So. As she told the wrong visa, I guess so. Yeah. Um, there's all, but that's like that's also a lot harder for the um. That's a lot of work for the casters. What? Four what? sets in a day. Uh. That's like. Well, maybe, no, I think no. Two half hours. That's like that's, like, that's potentially a ten hour day. No, it's saying one game or one game from each team every week. Not like each team has to play. Oh, you mean like? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah exactly. I get what you mean. Yeah. So Where you don't have to have that. Sorry. I thought you meant. You meant each one a day. Yeah. You don't have to work the schedule around Navi's flight schedule and like making sure like they don't. Yeah. It'd be four matches a week, right? Two teams playing. Maybe that way, that way, each six. team A will always have something to look at. Like, uh, for. like yeah. NALCS or EULCS. Yeah, like yeah. That. You just have like, two broadcast days, and everyone plays. Yeah. yeah, it would be two a day, just how it is now. Except, yeah. except there's new teams every day. Yeah, yeah. Um, and that way, every team has something to look at to prepare for from the week before, and mm-hmm. every team has. Um, and it's more consistent with the meta, yeah. right? Like only one meta changes team. throughout the whole entire season. Yeah, it's just more consistent. So it's like, I don't know, if we had played Nip in a different meta, maybe we would have done more than getting double O four. Exactly. You know? uh-huh. Like, if that had yeah. been the case. You only had to prep for one team. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, I think uh, I think my phase two is... <laughs> it's both I, like, I wish I had scrim options then. this week. What? I think since by season two, most teams aren't here, I think that's a bad thing. Yeah, I think... Yeah, I, I, think I don't think it's even on high res because of season two. Or phase by phase two, I think phase one. I understand teams not being here. Yeah, but by phase two, Hyrus put enough options for the orcs. Yeah. yeah, that the orcs should have a team. We uh, at most most orcs should have their team here by that mm. point. Yeah, uh, if uh, they care about. Their I think teams. we'll take one more question by the way before we kill it because we've been going for about an hour and fifteen minutes. So, if you guys have one more final question, we can take before we end. We will end that and then uh, find someone to viewer bomb. We'll see. My package will be delivered tomorrow. Cool, my G Fuel's coming. What kind of G Fuel you got, bud? Uh, I got Sour Blue Chug and oh. Twisted Candy. I like that first one, dude. Um, I haven't been on Gamer Sensei in, like, probably since I came here. Like, I don't really have... That doesn't... This doesn't count as the question. A computer to, like, use a... Yeah, that's true. Like, so it's so hard in the hotel. Me, yeah. Help you, dude. Dream, we're, not, we're not ending it because we're tired. We're ending it because we... It's almost. It's like ten forty. <laughs> and gone. I gotta go. Yeah, yeah. Tomorrow is gonna be a rough one. Like one more question. We got eighty. We got over eighty people in here, and the only person is one talking about gamer one. sensei. One question. Hey, I mean, it's a good question. One yeah, like yeah, yeah. Yeah. one like group question. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like this is this is like the I don't know. Come on, boys and girls, hit us up. Meta Pusher wants to ask the juicy question, bro. He's holding him back. He wants to ask the, the drama starting question. Oh no. Oh, here we go. What should every position in the game come? Okay. Actually, there's a lot what? of really good questions. Uh, every question hit us at once. These are all good. Um, which one do you want to answer? Do you want to answer the um, the uh, calm one? The real life fight one? <laughs> the real life fight would be fun. I feel like we had that as a bonus ending. Question. Okay, yeah, we'll do that. Oh, yeah, we'll do those two. Bitey is playing Splitgate. I'll answer that quick. Um, what should every position in the game come? That really depends. Uh, no, the demos won't be released, probably. Um Let's see. We don't even have the fucking. We don't even have that. I wish we did. That would help us so much. Oh so my god. I think support. He says, "I mean, what should a support come?" Okay. Supports should really be talking about their alts. I think for setups, that's oh. some, like a lot because their alts are usually really important and need a combo. Rotation wise, yeah. they should be calling a lot, right? Because they see everything, right? They see who has HP, who's taking duels right now, who has free room, right? Yeah. You can tell the main tank, oh, you can push in through lower keep or something like that. Oh, Ash, you can dive in now. They're fighting on the left side or something like that. Yeah. That's, like, the two main things I think support should be looking out for. Yeah, supports can call, like, yeah, can call. Because they can see everything on the help. Easier for support to, call, yeah. call, to shot call. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. Off tank can do it as well. Yeah. I mean, anybody can do it. But, like, I think off tank who can see the side mm. is usually really good to call, like, that pressure. Because then, like, the main tank or the support can call them off mm-hmm. you know, if it's a bad push. Um Anybody can call focuses. Anybody can call alts. It's just it really just comes down to your team. Like for our team, like FRZ talks a lot. Really? Yeah. Oh, sure. oh. But like, if he stops talking, someone else will pick up the slack. Mm-hmm. Like immediately. So like, it really it really depends on everything. Time to keep track of respawn timers. Yeah, support calling respawn timers is really important as well. 
uh, give me a check. FRZ breaks Ricotta Theorem. Dude, if I could have <laughs> recorded his comms today, none of you would have understood them. They also would have been... <laughs> I was going to say you would have been like impressed at how much he talked, then I realized that it wouldn't even matter because none of you would understand a word. We'll hear you're the saying. words and the sounds. And yeah. The, the energy. Yeah. <laughs> now do the sounds make sense yeah. to his teammates, yeah. maybe. Oh, does he always say that? For sure. Yeah, no, he... I mean, like, uh, Rochelle is like a constant focus. Rochelle is like... Portuguese me like he mm. just like info call mm. he just like float like when yeah. he sees he's like calls focuses yeah like, I, I, mean, <laughs> I think for us it's That's mainly me cuss and Ricotta and Pan are kind of even with like how they're uh, talking and like rotation wise and who's playing iron ground stuff like that or actually I mean it all depends on the comp honestly I think the person that talks the most consistently is probably me though mm. for our team Race? What? What? What the? What does that even mean, Dolos? I was saying the comms. I was literally that's literally what the you comms are like. Fluent Portuguese. I actually can understand their comms almost completely now. Oh, okay. Weird. Are you gonna hit up on a Brazilian chick now? Uh, Slide in. If she if she knows left, right, middle, and dead, if I can, <laughs> if I can have a full conversation like that, then sure. <sighs> Like uh, sometimes, like in between rounds, I'm lost. But like the actual like in game info calls, uh, I, I I'm actually I actually can follow now. Nice. It was real rough the first couple days. Mm -hmm. I, I actually thought that the nickname they had for FRZ was like an actual call. I'm like, what is what is Spaghetta? <laughs> they're like, uh, <laughs> it means like stove boy. I was like, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> I I literally was like, you guys say that a lot. What does it What does it mean? What was it? There was another thing. Oh, I asked them like there was a difference between because like galera means guys and like um, they also say guys. Oh. It's like they say both. Huh. It's really and like they and then like baziado like something else also means guys. They have like three different words for guys. They all they all switch through. <laughs> What's the other one uh, that I, that confused me for a while? Not confused me. Oh, like all the th all the things they say in English are like guys, and then when someone dies, they'll say like my bench. <laughs> Cause like D D in Portuguese is, a, is like a J. Yeah. No, it's like a J. Oh, it's a J. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like right is Jireta, but it's like D I R I E T A. <laughs> girl, Chris sliding into a girl's DMs like you're not a muito low. <laughs> nice Vita. <laughs> Oh god, yeah, man, real slick. This <laughs> <laughs> beat is uh, that's uh, like that's what I think that's what they say for dr, something like that. <laughs> okay. All right, let's find someone to host. <laughs> All the the vrs are here. The vrs are coming out. The rule is coming out. Wait, wait, wait. What, are we doing the fight? The fight. Oh, oh fight. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Let me bring my my phone up here. Oof. Is it like the best for me? Well, like every team, really. You just the, here, who's like, the best bro in the top team. two? I think we do like top two from every team. The best duo. Let's start from the top to the bottom. Okay, okay. NIP. Uh, Alex? No. No? no? I'm not Alex. I think Diggy, right? Diggy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it Diggy Bonker? Diggy Bonker. Diggy the tank Diggy duo? Bonker. Are we doing okay. duos? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Two, two people from each team to fight. So Diggy Bonker, okay. Okay. Um, Now we go to Navi. I don't know who works out on Navi. Spunky, I think, Spunky is scary. Spunky is scary. Spunky's big, dude. Really, yeah. Spunky's yeah. big. Oh, man. Yeah. Is this, is this <laughs> we, Spunky Phoenix? We, I don't know if it's Phoenix. Or is this Phoenix or Lazy? I think it's Lazy. Lazy's like... Does the creatives work out? Or am I wrong? No, no I don't no, think, I so. think so. Alex has Judo, Zog Ooh. says. Oh, yeah, oh Judo. Oh, stats, shit. Okay, okay, maybe him then. It's Alex, Alex Big. All right, Alex and Diggy? Alex Diggy. Alex Diggy, okay. All right, so it's either Phoenix... Really? You guys picked, I don't know enough. I, I think I think, I think it's lazy. Think I think it's lazy. lazy. I don't think Do Portuguese is a fighter. No. Like, uh, I don't think, uh, well, I don't think it's a okay, okay, we'll gonna, go lazy then. We'll go lazy. Yeah. Okay. Um, then it's Envy, right? Yeah. Uh, Envy. <laughs> rock monkey. <laughs> Absolute silence. Rock monkey. Not rock monkey, no. <laughs> I feel Not rock Rubu. monkey. Not Haze? Haze. 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 He's got random. the Tims. I think it's Haze. I think it's Haze random. It's not Haze because he has the Tims. He has the Tims. He's got the Tims. Have you ever seen his intro where he's like flexing, picking up the bag? Wait, wait, wait. Our coach is included. Wait. 
But I don't, think it's, meta. I don't think it's meta. I think it's still Hayes Random. That's the gym, though. But, I mean, is he... Yeah, like, I think yeah. it's still Hayes Random. Hayes Random. Okay. Like a, Hayes Random. That's a good okay, duo okay. right there. Uh, fourth, that's Esther She. Yeah. Aries. And then Aries who? Rochelle, I think. Rochelle? Yeah. I, I think Sadak works out more. Sadak. I think it might be oh, Sadak, Sadak, yeah. Sadak looks like yeah. Sadak. And that guy, I mean, good thing we talked about coaches being included because now you know that you can say <laughs> no to me. <laughs> um, then VP? VP. <laughs> I think you go Doe, right? Yeah. Doe's definite. It's Doe and then one of Hikate or Pule, right? I think Pule. I think it's Pule. Yeah. yeah. I, I think I'd go Pule. Um. Okay, then we got Kanga. Kanga. All right, good. Um, I, mean, I think we have some Joel's, Kanga members in chat. Joel's maybe. Who works out the most on Kanga? Kanga members that are in chat still. Kanga. Death and RK are making a basketball team. <laughs> we actually it's like a ba- basketball. If it's like, I don't if think it's so, like a dude. battle. If it's like a battle for the belt fight, you guys pick Death and RK. They just hold the belt out of everyone's uh, reach. I think Kanga might be like Joel's Hades, no? If, if coaches are included, then Hayes, yeah. yeah. I'll go Josh Josh Strongest or who works the most? I guess either. Yeah. Whatever like, you think working out the most doesn't mean you're the strongest. Yeah. If you had to pick the two to represent your team in, like, in a, a battle in a to the death. A battle royale. Oh, a uh, fist fight. No, fist not a battle <laughs> to the death. Just a fist fight. <laughs> <laughs> you got people with uh, Josh Kent comes fight. back and slays everyone. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely Hayes and Joel's. Hayes and Joel's? Okay. They got the height, the size. Right. Yeah. The brother we love. And after PK, this might be weird. I think it's 100% cost. The okay. Throner. I don't think it's the Throner. Really? I think the Throner's the well, Is it going to be you then? You're going to say you. I'm pretty sure because it's you're in the gym. Have okay. you seen his thighs? Have, have you, you seen my thighs? Have you my seen thighs? My thighs, dude. The thick but why thighs. Cuss? Have... Cuss, just... Cuss is strong, dude. Is Cuss strong? is really strong, yeah. He's big. He could take someone okay. down, dude. Okay. And I think. Egg. I think Death is a teddy bear, though. Yeah. I, I, but I mean, he has the de- size, like the height, so he just, you know. Now, might be a if good... Death has been training for this okay. moment, I think would, Death would be like... would pop someone's head like no, a shark. I was fucking manhandling you, brother. Really? Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> you see how fucking big I look? <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> you gonna flex on the stream? He already did. He flexed? Oh, I was looking away. I was looking at chat. Oops. Uh, Dethroner but... says all you do is heal for a living. <laughs> SDFU old man. Woo. Oh, that's fucking hilarious. Uh, he's he's, he's, he's going to get um, to the chat. He's ready to place a battalion. I would say it's either me and Cuss. Cuss, Cuss bro, watch your... It, it's one of those studios. <laughs> um, and for Renegades, obviously viral. Viral for sure. And then the second one, like, honestly, Pauta, because the rest of us are just... No. Is it Pal? I feel I like Pal's Pal's a teddy bear. No, Pal's, Pal's, he'll, I think he, he'd be good in a fight. You I don't sure? think he'd be like the other people, but it's definitely not me. I feel like Pal would, 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 would get hit and just like like a robot just be like, <laughs> like he would just come back like a Terminator. <laughs> like, no, uh, no motion, just like, boom. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Pal and Viral. Now, who's the strongest duo out of all that? Now I think know who win. I think we're up Loki's there, not a fighter at all. Loki's actually like a bigger teddy bear than like Dethrone or any of these players. Yeah. Like, I'd go over Loki, Loki, I think. Moon uh, has the power of God in anime on his side. He's not. <laughs> yeah, he's got... <laughs> uh, but I honestly think our team would probably be... I, I think... You yeah, no. Our team, yes. On, me and Cosmo. No. Uh, Alex, Judo? Alex has Judo. Hades and Joel's have the size. Like, right, I don't think you guys we win. Gotta do a boxing Hades and Joel's are going to like Bo- fucking boxing. boxing. They have synergy. They have synergy. They're going to like... They're going to attack each other. Joel's going to beat your head like a fucking punching bag. Okay, but so are they. They're going to the gym. They're brothers. They had synergy. Joel and Seth. Hades is going to hold your arms. Hades is going to hold your arms and Joel's just going to be like... He can't hold these arms. Fresnick. He can't. Um... That's why Smoon always we, we got to <laughs> We got to make sure we we have to do a boxing tournament sometime, okay? That needs to happen. Uh, member of that question, Meta said what good ideas for All-Stars? Oh. Boxing <laughs> tournament a 2 on 2. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we could uh show that mixer, you know, no problems. Why not? Uh, Whatever, it's not like it's a pay-per-view event. Yeah. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out. <laughs> uh, it was a pretty good chain reaction we got yeah, here. It was pretty fun. It was fun. We should, uh, we'll get more people here next time. Hopefully. Yeah. Ricotta. 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 At Ricotta. Ricotta. Like at R-K-T-A. Uh, yeah, Ricotta, show yourself for a second. come down for the end. Come down for the end. We're pointing Ricotta, to get the vodka. vodka. It's vodka Ricotta, time, brother. Vodka time. Ricotta. 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 You're ending it. 
I don't Ricardo, know. please! Ricardo, please. Ricardo. All, you. Ricardo. all you! Good day! Yeah, it's time to knock on the door, dude. Oh, here's going, here's going. I got the angle, don't you worry. The angle? Yeah, I got the angle. Here, can I hold it? I think I might have to set your hand Yeah, 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 you can hold it, you can hold it. Get me in, please! Get the, oh, lock the door. You got the tech. Don't make me unlock this, Ricardo. Kliku's streaming apparently. Is Kliku streaming? That's what someone said in chat. I have 14 minutes. Oh, he's gonna stream Battalion. Well, we don't want to host. It is a snowball mic. Yes. Is, are they saying it sounds good? Uh, no, someone just asked oh, if it's oh, a snowball yeah, mic. It's a snowball. Is Kliku streaming? How many viewers? Nobody yeah, watched Kliku? Right. It, it's still there. Did he get the top? Did I just that one more time. No. Ninja Lizard. Maybe it's just one of my like TF2 friends. You guys yeah. Are like, what? Why are we here? Go do something. Cradle, there's a whole body you can watch. Do not worry. Fun times. Oh no, Kliku is streaming. Yeah. Uh, he has five viewers. Let's uh, get him in here. Uh, eight, five viewers. Yeah, we're hosting Kliku, guys. Um, I gotta tap on my phone. Ugh. Thanks very much for watching, everybody. Go say hi to Kliku if you're sub to me. None of you are. If you're sub to me, go drop a Chris Lover. Or I see a Chris Pride right now. Uh, anyway, uh, you guys, uh, here, any shout outs to the guests? Uh, follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Twitter. Woo. At Orangey Hero, right down there. Uh, Bunny, any shout outs? Oh, follow himself. You can tell him yourself. Uh, order from Uber Eats. <laughs> 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 All right, guys, I'm going to go to the now. Peace. Signing off. See you next week.